Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, <laughs> before we jump into tonight's session, we do have some announcements to get through, beginning with our first sponsor, Fantasy Flight. Sam? This episode is sponsored by the latest Terranoth Legends board game from Fantasy Flight, Ooh. Descent, Legends in the Dark. Ooh. This cooperative dungeon crawling board game franchise lets players quest along an unfolding campaign while venturing across a vast realm. For one to four <laughs> players, this installment features a fully integrated companion app, opera, nope, opening an unforgettable <laughs> journey as you explore high towers, dismal tombs, dark forests, encounter terrifying monsters, and unlock new skills. And speaking of integrated companion apps, they're all the rage right now. So I took some petty cash, I hope that's okay, Travis, and I paid a team <laughs> of 14 programmers to develop a critical role companion app. And I installed the beta on each of your phones without you knowing. What? Wouldn't, wow. wouldn't we need our passwords to do that? You said it, Taliesin, so whip out your phones and I'll demo some of the features. First off, <clears throat> When Matt changes the lights on the set, our companion apps from the, our phones will let us know so that we don't miss the majesty of the transition. Go ahead, Matt, trigger a light change. Okay. Holy shit, holy shit, Matt Merker is changing the lights. <laughs> holy shit, holy shit. That seems kind of distracting, don't you think? <laughs> you said it, Liam. Another cool feature, when the app hears key phrases that we say in the show, it will interact with the screen in real time. Ashley, oh, I should have prepped a prop. I'll just do it here. Ashley, say this phrase on this piece of paper. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna read it up here if that's okay. <laughs> Fern makes her way into the battle. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> that was very loud and annoying. You said it, Ashley. And lastly, the monster button is a feature where the user can activate a ferocious monster roar to accentuate big boss battles. Go ahead and press that button right now. And in post, they're gonna add sounds. <laughs> Oh, okay, wait, so it's happening. Wait, we'll cut this part out, and then I'll say, I'll say wait, no, that's a glitch. <laughs> this doesn't work without the sound playing. That's, no, that's a glitch. It should be a scary growl, not the sound that we're all hearing right now. Don't stop doing that. No, it's not supposed to sound like this. It doesn't work without the sound. <laughs> Two steps forward, <laughs> one step back. <laughs> hey, if you keep moving your hands, that'd be supposed to so keep minding it. And they're gonna put in a sound that's gonna make me, it's supposed to make me go crazy. <laughs> oh, stop it, guys, you're ruining everything. <laughs> anyway, with 46 We are ruining everything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get production more work. <laughs> Six pieces of 3D terrain <laughs> and 40 striking hero and monster miniatures bringing your game to life. Descent Legends in the Dark really is a beast. Oh, stop it, you guys. <laughs> just stop. Just stop. <laughs> Check it out now at bit.ly slash CR Descent. Matt, back to you. Oh, oh, expertly done. Well done, everybody. Oh, wow. <laughs> Legitimately. Are we using that? Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe we'll just leave it silent. I know, I kind of want to just like bail on it entirely. <laughs> the audience will never know. It's really a great game. It's really fun. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Big fan of that monster button, though, I tell you. Oh, what. yeah. yeah. Oh, anyway. what, whatever sound it played was really funny. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us live on Twitch and YouTube. Join in our live and moderated community chat by heading on over to our Twitch channel. Ashley. Hey, all right. So earlier this week, we launched a special campaign in honor of both past and current members of the military and their families with our long-standing friends at Operation Supply Drop. <laughs> all CRF donations raised until this Saturday, November 13th, will benefit Operation Supply Drop. 
Since 2010, OSD has supported over 1.5 million veterans, active military, and their family members through award-winning programs, including Games to Grunts, 76 Operators, and Operation Supply Drops, the original gaming care package. Yeah. Please consider sharing and making a donation, if you are able, at criticalrolefoundation.org. Yeah, so okay. thank you, Ashley. Oh, yeah. Well done. Laura, you're up next. Hey. That was good. That was really thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I still got a little fuddled. No, you did great. Okay. The bar was low. The bar was yeah, man. Like, really. Here it is. Hey, guys. Oh, boy. <laughs> the holidays are fast approaching, and we have a bunch of holiday themed merch to celebrate. <laughs> so get ready. Here's some of the items. Laura practiced too. <laughs> Maybe she shouldn't. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All these holiday items are designed by Grace Berrios. No, nice. we have Weird Away. I put it to you. Yeah, the holiday. Oh. Ready? Ugly Ooh, Christmas. Oh, oh, yeah. That's really ugly. That's so really ugly, actually. That's yeah. actually really soft. That's just right. right. That's just right. right. That's just right. That's oh my god. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, next up, we have our Winter's Crest stocking. Oh, and it's oh, big. That's awesome. It's big Isn't enough to hold so a lot of crazy? presents. Yeah. You can even wear them like socks. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to. And then Pretty last merch, but not least, wasn't putting her arm through it. Yeah. You know, you're like sitting around your holiday stuff and you want to sit in front of the fire and, and be all comfy cozy. Ooh, We've got that? our ultra soft lounge. Hold on, here you go. Okay, I'll hold it comes star. with a shirt and oh, a pair of goodness. really, really oh, okay. so cozy. Really like, really like, soft. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. Dude, yeah, it's, it's, it's like winter. Oh my god. Whoa. Are they lying? They're, they're just really soft. Yeah. I'm gonna right here, here, here. I'm wow. keeping this back. It's so smushy! Yeah. Oh, it is and so the top it's, has got, it's really comfy cozy. Oh, this is like right? double thick. I love yeah. this. Yeah. Oh, but I made, we made the top short sleeve because it's thick, so I want you to be not too hot, you know? So, anyway. All right, bring it back, you guys. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Also available right now, we have holiday wrapping paper, Marisha. Wait, don't give it back. I'm keeping that. <laughs> Yo, so yes. pretty. Hey, look at our look. And our oh, our winter's so. crest stocking oh. looks really great with our look. With oh, the purple. One. With our oh. look. I love that. Oh, wait, um, and and uh, it's two separate things. I forgot we're on different screens, but you know. And we've also <laughs> got washi tape. Washi tape is washi what you tape. use to wrap the wrapping yeah, paper. I you use, yeah, you use fancy tape to use on the wrapping paper, and it matches the wrapping paper, and it's yeah. extra decorative and pretty. That's what she. I also use it for snail mail. Yeah. Also oh, for snail mail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we've also got these logo ornaments. We got logo ornaments. Logo on your tree or from your rear view mirror if you want to. I don't know. And then also, <laughs> we have an updated version of our Mighty Nines weapons short sleeve shirt. You're holding. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. Right. this is designed by Adrian Helton. And so our last one was made of like polyester, and this one is made of cotton. Ooh. Yay. And some spandex, so it fits better. Oh, that's Ooh. great. So, really nice. The other ones are still good too. The other ones are great. <laughs> These ones are just better. <laughs> <laughs> if you got the last one, screw you. you. If you the last one, <laughs> then you got the limited edition version. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh, updated materials and size specs for a better fit and feel. That's what I said. <laughs> we expect. Okay, so this is uh, this is important information. We expect shipping timelines to get more and more unpredictable as we enter the holiday season. Mm. You know things are crazy right now, yes. mm. so we recommend ordering before Black Friday for the best chance of getting your items on time for your holiday gift giving reasons. Oh, I screwed up that line on yeah. the screen, but I got it out. Yeah, you did great. I understood. Thanks. Yeah. Order shop, order early. Early. shop early. Shop early. Shop often. All the places we know, left the screen at, that was, that was the, 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 <laughs> least, the least worrisome. <laughs> So yeah. So nice. Do you want? Yeah. It's so soft. Oh, yeah. I want to dye my hair to match it. Oh. <gasps> it is a oh, great this color. Might be like Atari color. graphics. Aqua. I love it. Wait, let me. I gotta get a light. Back to you, Matt. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I believe that concludes our announcements. So let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of Critical Role. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
and welcome back. Last we left off, this group of adventurers had come together, spotted for their skills and unexpected camaraderie in the middle of a street battle with furniture by Sir Bertrand Bell. Brought you to a previous employer of his, Lord Eric Esteros, who decided to take you under his wing as possible mercenary clients. Sent you on your first venture to look into some thefts that were happening in one of the textile warehouses in which he had interest. Looking into it, there was a, an individual who looked a bit shifty, and following them, as your group scattered into four plus different directions, you found that they nervously ran to the weary way in, eventually making your path to that same place, avoiding the phrase I was afraid was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, you made your way to the weary way. Weary <laughs> way! <laughs> <laughs> Just in time to hear a scuffle behind a room in which Dennis, the gnome you've been following, was killed by a strange, gaunt, pale, dwarven individual, and apparently a number of odd creatures that you had referred to from previous experiences, shade creepers. Exactly you did how we referred to them. Exactly. You battled within this room with this dwarf able to escape, but you had proof and information of who was responsible for these thefts, or at least who within the company was allowing them to happen. And with the body of Danas, you returned to Lord Eric's and completed your mission, though sad at the life that was lost. Celebratory evening was had, you were paid, and a possibility of future work was set before you. You retired for the night back to the Spire by Fire Tavern. Amongst drinks and food, you all went to your various places that night to rest. While Sir Bertrand Bell, riding the high of a, the first victory in a while, wandered the night, found himself joined by an unexpected individual in the alley. As he lay there, left bleeding and alone, Imogen, a familiar nightmare, came to you. In the midst of that dark red hellscape, you saw the shadow of a man, not unlike Bertrand, stepping into nothing. And that's where we left off. So it was Imogen. Do you feel the dream is enough to wake you, or do you ride it through like you have before? I feel like I would have woken up from that. Okay. So, in your room, here in the windowed wall, not that far from Laudna, since there's not a lot of (laughs) space in the place you're currently staying, you immediately (sighs) wake up. Laudna. Mm. What? What's what's wrong? Are you all right? It's another nightmare. Are you okay? Yeah. Um. Something happened in it, though. Um. I saw someone else. I think it was Bertrand. I don't know what it means, but it's never happened. What is the feeling that you got from it, do you have? Um, I don't know. He looked almost like he was at peace. Like he... But I don't understand how that's possible, like, Lord, and I swear that that storm is terrifying. I know. Nothing, nothing would be comfortable there, and I don't know. I just grab her hand. <sighs> Whatever it is, there's an element of truth to it. Yeah, it's gonna there's, mean something. There's no denying. Should we try and find the others? Do we know what time it is? 
I peek my head out, and it does Shadana have like a little clock or something, or what I know? No. <laughs> I look at the moon in the sky. Make a nature check. Nature or survival, your choice. Nature or survival. What is my nature at? I'll do survival. Uh, okay, I rolled a two. So, uh, four. You have no idea. You're still in that weird, kind of like blinking eyed dark in a state of barely out of dream. We, it's, there's no windows in this room either. Uh, in this room, no. The, the, the windows are just at the front of the, yeah. the abode. I'm just going to... I'm just going to... I don't know. Check on him? Should we check on him? Should we go back to the, the tavern? I, I'd be up for a midnight stroll. Just get get dressed. Just quick, throw on some clothes so we can get out and okay. go. And I just grab a cup of water, bring it over to her. Here, drink. It's probably it's probably nothing. It's just I just feel like it'd be good if we at least went there and made sure, you know. Of course. Okay. Throw on clothes really quick. Throw on like a shawl. Kind of throw it over my head. Gather your things. You carefully step out into the main chamber. Uh, Sedona Sedona is not to be seen, probably asleep in her room. And as you step beyond the front door, down the various steps and winding pathways that lead between the clustered neighborhood that is the windowed wall, you come to the main street here in the core spire. And judging by the absence of people, it's probably fairly you would say late in the morning or, or late in the evening or early in the morning. It's, it's in that weird liminal time space where you might be right on the cusp of sunrise. You're not sure. All right. Let's just head back head to the over. tavern. Yeah, yeah. Retrace our steps. Worst case scenario, maybe we can go, go and find fresh cut grass in Ashton. Yeah, I just, yeah, knock on, knock on a door at least. Yeah. That's true. That's yeah. true. And I think the other. Group stayed here as well. Yeah. All right. So, so we'll head tower. over to them. Okay. So you head back to the spire by fire. Uh, uh, the, I thought the weary. No, nope, spire by fire. <laughs> spire by fire is where they're sleeping. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a lot of taverns and inns in this yeah. town. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a large town. Too many Starbucks on this block. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you head to the spire by fire. Uh, it is fairly dead for the night. Um, while it is open, you can see that uh, the usual patronage is. is Done. There are a handful of people that are the really, really the func the non-functional alcoholics that are here at that early hour or work during the day and then or work during the night and then finish off their shift at this point and are just kind of in the process of dealing with their life choices. Um, the usual uh, individuals that you're used to seeing here are not around, and you see the the different shift worker at the front of the, of the tavern bar is uh, an. Older human in his kind of mid 60s or so, uh, thinning gray hair that is greased and combed straight back. Um, and he looks like he himself is kind of probably making <laughs> making a pass for a nap here before you step inside and he can. Oh, uh, welcome. Hi, sorry. Uh, what, what time is it? Uh, it's. Probably a, f a few hours from uh, sunrise. All right. Um, I'm, I'm inquiring about um, Mr. Bertrand Bell, who was sleeping here last night. Uh, we were with him earlier. I don't know if you remember. I, I do not recall, but. Um, Older gentleman, um, ostentatious clothing. Uh, I think it was reds and. and yeah. And vag vaguely, yes. He has a tab here, and he put a few other people in his room. Could you maybe tell me what rooms those are? He looks down, you can see he's checking tabs and like nodding and correlating the existence of a Bertrand Bell. But when you start asking for the room, he kind of looks at you oddly. And what, what, what business do you have with uh, Mr. Uh, Bell? Well, you see, I, I don't want to gossip, but he has quite the problem holding his alcohol, so we just want to make sure he's not passed out or in a 
compromised position. Make a deception check. Come on, come on. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Cox. Cox. I love shouting that. Damn, is that <laughs> real bad? Should have been Cox. Should have been <laughs> Cox. Uh, uh, six. I rolled a three. I am a. I, my apologies, but uh, we are not allowed to give out the uh, specific information for tenants who are staying the night for, you know, security purposes. Of course, I hope I you understand. understand. <laughs> we will find them ourselves. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's just head up the stairs and. Gosh, I feel like I remember them shouting a room number last night, but I can't remember. Can we? We didn't get a long rest, did we? Did we get a long rest? Not yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Finding a hotel room. Bertrand! <laughs> oh, Bertrand! Wow. Bertrand! I make sure that it's loud enough that the person downstairs can hear us shouting for Bertrand. They, if we had your room, Bertrand! Please, could you not do that? Sure, if we had his room number, we wouldn't have to shout, you know. You can wait till morning and no, when he- No, we can't, sir. We really can't. Well, uh, good luck with the tenants then. And he just goes back to the desk and is going to let you let you go. Can I check room four? I feel like four was the number that I heard. Don't knock on four. Bertrand. Bertrand. You hear rustling. Oh, uh, oh shit! No, Fern. Good. Maybe it's Fern. Bertrand. It's Fern. Fern. Oh, Bertrand. The door Dorian. opens and you see a heavy set elf, hair all a mess, looking like a giant bags under their eyes, you just go. What? You're not Bertrand. I'm just <laughs> move on. <laughs> Room three. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh yeah. Daniel. 15 NPCs, get them ready. <laughs> There's a brief a brief pause, and you hear some whispering. Who is it? Oh, that's not. No, no, never mind. Do you need a change of sheets? No, never mind. No. <laughs> what the fuck? Room two. <laughs> yep. Well, she does two. I go to five. Okay. Room two. You knock. Yeah. <laughs> Merchant, are you in there? Fern, Orem, Orem, Dorian. No response. On room two. Ding, 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 ding. Bertrand. No response. Room five. Uh, you being the most perceptive of the group, uh, suddenly jump awake at the sound of heavy knocking at the door. Um, hello? Oh, yes. Oh, oh. yes. Orem, Orem is Ladna. Uh, I. <laughs> Did you ask him in what room Bertrand's in? What, uh, Orem, what room is Bertrand in? Uh, I think he's two down from me. Seven or. Oh, oh, is I don't, it, how does it, it work? when they do has like it? every other one? <laughs> <laughs> and <it's> just, yeah. <laughs> Orem, Orem, comes, Orem comes out into the hall just in his breeches. What is going on? Yeah, it's the two the of you the have begun to rouse and wake up from the. I'm looking for Bertrand. Did you for see him? For what? Kind of... Do you know what time it is? No, actually. I come out holding Mister, <laughs> and his little his little bow is all smushed. My hair is all smushed. Look at this what's cute what's tail. happening? Oh Are you okay? What's um, I don't know. It's complicated, but we have a bad feeling. Um, Imogen has. This is so dumb. <clears throat> it's okay. Sorry, it's not it? dumb. It's not. I just need to make sure he's okay. Who? Bertrand. Bertrand. Uh, Who's? I walk down to the door that I know that he's in, mm -hmm. which Liam doesn't know. Yeah. But is it two? Uh, Hmm? Is it two? No, it's seven. Oh, shit. It was going to be your eventual choice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bell, I'm sorry. Bertrand? No response. Uh, I get out my lock picking kit. Oh, okay, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Are you proficient? No, we've been through this. Yes, right. So just go ahead and roll. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. Just a dex. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound No, that was amazing. Just a dex. Just dex check, yeah. 10. Does not pick it. Did anyone, anyone, Mr. Bell? see him go to bed last night? Whoa, wait, wait, what is this um, feeling? You said you had a feeling? What, what are you talking about? I'm sorry. I had a dream about him. You're not here. Yeah, but Sam is. <laughs> <laughs> Imogen, 
she, she, she has these these senses, and the end, they, they tend to not steer us wrong. I mean, yeah, I've just, I've had a dream for a very long time, a very long time, and while it morphs and grows, it never really changes, if that makes sense. And um, tonight was the first time I've. I've ever seen someone else in it. And it was Mr. Bell. And, um, I don't know, I just, uh, I don't know what it could mean, but it, it makes me nervous for him, if that makes sense. Do you feel like it's a, a premonition of I sorts? I genuinely have no idea. I wanna go right over the door and rattle it and knock again. Bertrand! I mean, I left him with you last night. What, when did you leave he with him? He was with us. He was What did he do? God. I saw him right before he went to bed. Well, I thought he was going to bed, and I stayed up. I tried to take him upstairs. I tried to take him upstairs. He was very drunk, and he said he was going to look for you. For us? For, for, for yeah, I, something like that. He he said he was going to try and find your home, or or I don't know. He just Why said he wanted to. Find to us? I thought we were supposed to meet up. Yeah, he, right in the He garden. insisted, he said he wanted to go for a walk. While they're all arguing, Orem pats back into his room and comes out with his blade. And, did you uh, see? Get out of the way. Did please. you see which direction he, he, he walked <laughs> away in? Ooh. I'm striking the latch off of his door. Go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, it's a 19 plus uh, 25. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. This is what we should have been doing with doors this whole time. Just slashing Just them. Just slashing them. Mm. Who needs yeah. a roll? It, Who need <laughs> it, it takes you two hits in succession, but very quick succession, and the knob just falls and hits the ground. Uh, and the door opens up in front of you. Bertrand! With the, with the impact, you hear Mr. Go. It's okay. Creep in. He doesn't like loud noises. Oh, I think he's just all? nervous. Uh, looking around, the place is fairly undisturbed. Is he in bed? Room's empty. No one slept here. Is his cane here? His overcoat? Nothing. Fuck that. I'll look. Uh, I'll roll the place. Okay, make an investigation check. Uh, that is um, for me. That is fourteen. Twelve. Excuse me. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, looking through here, the place looks like it had been recently cleaned. Though they don't clean a lot, there's still dust gathered beneath every surface. Is the bed made? Uh, the bed is made and has been. Looks untouched. I mean, he said he wakes up really early, but I, I think this might be a little too early, right? No, he wasn't here. I fast walk back to my room and I grab my cloak, my outer cloak, and I put it on and I'm, I'm walking down the stairs. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow you. Well, wait, okay. hold on, hold on. I mean, this is Belle we're talking about. Maybe he's just, you know, carousing. Sure. Maybe? I don't. I'll get my stuff. Yeah. Same. <clears throat> Did he say anything to you? Anything weird? Any? I'm sorry, you guys. No, no, he I'm was sorry. He was happy. He was fine. We, we sang songs. We laughed. We drank, and then he just said he was. Go I shouldn't have left him. Hey, this isn't your mm -hmm. fault. We'll find him. <clears throat> Ready? Which direction do you go? Well, if he was looking for you guys, maybe retrace we our steps. retrace our steps to wherever. Did he know where they lived? I don't think so. Well, um, we were all going to meet. Yes, at yeah, that. He knew at, it was the windowed wall, so he would head headed in that direction. And we we're all going to go to the, the vertical gardens, if I, you remember. I, I think oh, he took right. off this way, and I'll point toward all right. their place. Okay. So as the five of you trek out into the God, darkened God. streets of the core spire, wandering through what you assume to be the a path someone like him might take when... Is it still very dark? It's still very dark. I mean, okay. it's, it's a relatively clear night, and you can see Katha is, you know, partially, not, not completely full, maybe like three quarters uh, waxing, so you, you have a decent amount of, of white light that's kind of hitting the stones of the street and framing some of the buildings. Okay, I'm going to hold up my hand and three little flickering spheres of like lightning energy are going to come out of my hand and cast like a, a kind of a purplish glow wherever I send them to see in corners and 
Cool. You see a couple of uh, uh, kind of dirtied miners that are making their way from the smolter spire kind of react to the sudden flare of energy and just kind of take a wide berth as they walk past the group, but you continue forward. Um, if I could have each of you in the group roll a perception check for me, please. Twenty. Twenty. Nineteen. Wow. Okay. As a group, especially when you're driven and working together, you can pick up a lot of detail in the environment. You come upon one person you see slumped at the edge of the gutter, and as you approach nervously, they kind of react and turn and look, and it just looks to be a person who uh, had, had a long night at one of the taverns and is definitely not Bertrand. Going on for a bit, you begin to Second guess whether you're worrying for no reason until you're the first to see in one of the alleys to the right what looks to be a dark shape left about 10 feet back on the ground, vaguely humanoid. I mean, maybe it just means he's like shady or something, you know? Mm. I, I don't know if I trusted him. Hold here for a second. I'm going to creep uh, into the alley. As you approach, kind of going through the motions of stealthy uh, arrival, you feel your Heart, your heartbeat begin to beat faster and higher up in your chest. Your throat begins to close slightly with the eventual reveal of familiar details, as this is indeed a person lying on the ground. They're not moving, but it is indeed Bertrand Bell. You all just see Orm turn back to you all. I send my lights over. I start to slowly walk over. I'm stay. gonna stay back. I'll rush over to Orm. With the lights, the crackling, kind of purplish pink energy that lights the space, it is definitively Bertrand. And that brief little glimmer in your mind of maybe he just got drunk and fell asleep sinks into a deep, fearful sadness as you can see the pool of still wet blood that has encircled him and the numerous puncture wounds that are visible on the chest. Oddly, serenely smiling. Ooh. Fuck. Careful. I'm just start gonna... scanning the area. Perception check? What are you for I'm going to go over and try to cast Cure Wounds on him. Okay. Go ahead and. Place your hands, and as you touch the body, the first thing that catches you, even though you're still going through the motions and reciting the, uh, the incantation for the spell, cold to the touch, and as you release that bit of magical energy, no effect. I put my hand on Dorian's shoulder, and I turn and I grab Imogen's wrist. Can I tell how long he's been dead? Roll a medicine check. You gotta be fucking me. Natural one. Oh no. Today. I mean, you keep, you keep rolling that. <laughs> <laughs> he looks just like me. Wake up. Switch your room. Wake up. Oh, reverse. His complexion looks better. <laughs> cleared up. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Numerous reasons. I mean, you, you, you gather it's relatively recent because you saw him earlier and the, the blood is still wet, though a bit coagulated. I'm going to check his pockets. Just, I'm going to take whatever's in there. Okay. Uh, I'll have Travis text you whatever Bertrand had in his pockets. <laughs> and I got a 19. <laughs> you just got all of his shit. Scoping there. <laughs> 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 Wow, one man's trash. Still warm. <laughs> <laughs> Still warm. Oh, God. Not warm, thankfully. Just oh, a pocket full of slightly yeah. <laughs> 19. Yeah. All right. Um, you do look around the space. Um, you do not see anybody paying attention. Um, but we're in an alley. At you, you are about 10 feet into a dark alley. Yeah. Okay. Um, but there's nothing, no, um, 
any kind of telltale sign or tracker, anything. I don't think I'm going to find anything, but I'm looking for anything left behind by whoever did this. The only thing that's visible here is Bertrand and his wounds. And while scanning every inch that I can see in the really dim light that Imogen is uh, providing, I just sweep across them at the end of the alley and I just clock how bumped Imogen looks. And then I just go back to searching, even though I feel like I'm not going to find anything. Right. Just keep at it. So if you want to roll a medicine check, if you want to learn about the specific wounds on this body. 19. Damn, okay. Um, these are, they're definitively five, six punctures, actually. Six. Um, about half of them are from a stiletto type knife, and the other looks to be some sort of a, a, a rapier. The weaponry you immediately connect is very similar to that which you saw being wielded by a pale dwarf figure earlier in the night. Okay. Who poked me full of holes. Yes. You know those wounds because you bore a few of them. It's a bunch of shallow stabs and one not so shallow. Are you getting anything? Came back to finish the job. This was done by that. The dwarf we found. How can you tell? Uh, he just lifts up his shirt and you see like, like the barely closed wounds on his belly. It's the same kind of wounds. Can't be a coincidence. We can't leave him here. No. But if we take him somewhere, then someone's gonna know that we found him here. So is it better to just leave him here? I feel like that's terrible now that I'm saying that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How far are we from Lord Estrasis? Yeah, that's the way to go. Uh, probably about a 10 minute walk. We have to take him. We have to take him. Okay, I'm gonna try to lift him up. I'm gonna use, just in case we run into some guards or something, I'm gonna press a digitation, this his clothing, so there's not blood all over it. Okay, all right. Ooh. Take his cloak and kind of cover it up so he just looks like he's sleeping. Okay. We're not far. Let's get moving before it gets too light. Why don't, uh... I'll snuff out my lights. Fern, Dorian, do you want to bring him? And then we can kind of make sure no one else gets too close. Yeah. Put him on our shoulders, okay. make it look like he's... Uh-uh. Drunken night out. <laughs> we can hit Bertrand's. We can hit Bertrand's. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! We can hit Bertrand's. God, that's so good! Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did you, by the way, what did you find? I found so <laughs> many things. <laughs> um, <laughs> Why? Okay, well, um, oh, no. he had lots of things on him. Damn it, trap. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of them oh. could be um, clues. Um, this looks like a. Travis, you gotta stop. <laughs> a thirty-year-old condom. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Um, we going through these? We got some peanuts. No, 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 no we're not. We're gonna have two choice of give items. A, give me a peanut. <laughs> peanut. No. Delicious peanuts. Mm -hmm. Mm. I do. I do like the icy hot. And the icy, icy hot. hot. Good. TV guide. The TV guide. <laughs> I'll leave the rest. Um. Yes, there's good articles every week. <laughs> Asshole. 
<laughs> yes, definitely Werther's originals. <laughs> uh, yeah. Werther's guy out in the, the Dalian Empire. <laughs> what is it like on the set of the Golden Girls? <laughs> 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 so, the two of you are propping him up, and the rest of you are running interference as you make your way towards Lord Estras's place. Correct. Yeah. While you two still sleep, unaware, and get a long rest. rest. And get a long rest. Yeah. Yeah. So, eventually, you come to the exterior of the Estras estate. Knock on the door. After a. Prolonged wait, you see a very, very tired Evelyn open the door, kind of nightcap on. Um, hello, can I help? Sorry. We need to see Lord Estras. She kind of looks past and sees the both of you. Right, right, come in, come in. Lead you inside. Uh, this place is already pretty dark and, and you know, creepy when it is prepared for arrivals, when it is lightless in here. It definitely has that kind of haunted house vibe to it. Um, Evelyn has a single, uh, looks like a handheld candle, uh, but the light itself is just a glowing orb. It is a, a magical candle that she uses to light as she continues past. Um, go ahead and, and wait in the study. I'll retrieve him for you. Have you been in the study before? <clears throat> Studies where you fought him. Go in there, it is, it is dark beyond whatever light you decide to bring within. I'll send out the lights again. All right. Somewhere. Should we set him in a chair or? Maybe lay him, lay him on one of the tables. This is the second body we've laid on this table in 24 hours. <laughs> it's a different table. I, I don't know, oh, that's right, so dark <laughs> in here, I don't. Okay, we'll that set him on the table. Maybe, um, maybe for me, you could, um, Maybe the rugs, yeah, those those rugs look nice and soft. I don't know. Maybe you could light a fire in the... <laughs> the fireplace catches. There's not that warm crackle in here. Eventually, you hear the door open to the study as Lord Estoros comes in, heavy, heavy kind of nighttime robe, himself having one of those like long Dickensian nightcaps that kind of just over the shoulder, um, kind of rubbing his eyes a bit as he puts his spectacles on. So, Evelyn told me, uh, looks over at Bertrand's body. Right. We had no other contact. You're the only other person we know who knew him. This was an entanglement. It came from the job we did for you. <sighs> I'm sorry. This is gravely unfortunate. What are the thoughts running through your head right now? I'm trying to think if this, if whoever is responsible for this is indeed based on the job you did or something. Mayhaps he was tangled with before. No, I don't think so. Our friend here found something. The person we all tangled with found him later in the same day. Like it was nothing. Who's to say they're not going to find you? Or any of us. Or any of us. Well. In that case, it would do all of you well to not travel alone. In fact, I would recommend as much of your group as possible. And I would perhaps find the other two as soon as possible. Let them know. But we do not know what sort of danger they are in, either. This is presumptuous, maybe, but at least tonight, would you permit us to stay here? Yes. I apologize, but you must give me a moment to clear a room. Of course. Thank you for 
uh, allowing it. Good thinking. Do you know of anyone who would take this personally? There are many who would take this personally. But I do not know what sort of interpersonal struggles or enemies Sir Bertrand would have made outside of our bereaved dallyings in um, which he was mostly engaged in running. I'm curious about your enemies, not his. I have many. This is an inconsequence. I mean this with all due respect to the dead. But if someone is trying to hurt me through Bertrand, they are a fool. And my enemies are not fools. Well, we stumble onto something at your behest, but we stuck our noses into something, and whoever this individual is, Whatever he represents didn't like it. And maybe Bertrand is somehow wrapped up in something, but this ties right back to the warehouse. So if Bertrand's involved, it's a coincidence. I'm wrestling with my own frustration and regret for intentionally causing this by getting you involved. It was him that requested work, but none of us knew this would be the outcome. <clears throat> I've seen many in my time pass, some horrifically, some by my hand. So maybe I'm a bit numb to these sort of things. But that does not mean the loss is lost on me. I could look to arrange something of your preference for those that knew him. None of us knew him very well. Well. Speak with Evelyn. It would be a shame to not give him a proper send off. As to whatever this business is, I do not wish to pull you further into such danger if it makes you uncomfortable. I could look into hiring others to follow this thread with less heat. I, I feel like I, I would like to see where the end of this thread goes now that we're, we've pulled it a little bit. Yeah. I, I don't want whoever did this to Bertrand to get away with it. Neither do I. for us. We scooped him up, we sort of had his things, and I I grabbed his um, his cane and his, the gambler's blade. <clears throat> and I've got it in my hand, and I'm... Bertrand put up a fight. I think I'd like to as well. And I'm gonna give the cane. Mm. Takes it and kind of holds it in his hand a bit. I'm turning it in his palm. The fight we shall have. <sighs> Rest here for the night. Take the time you need in safety. Then, well, follow what leads you wish. Thank you. I can keep the rooms here for as long as you need. Taverns are not safe for whoever this is, is still about. I have many allies that whisper through these streets for me. If anything comes my way, speaking of this individual, I will let you know. But you are welcome to search as well. 
Some of us should go get Ashton and letters. Let them know. I, I, I don't know where they're staying. Does anyone? I, I remember which rooms they were in. I can go. I thought they were there. They're in, they're in the, the, the down below. Yeah. The crook house. The crook house. Mm -hmm. The crook house. Oh, yeah, that's right. Maybe I'd... Oh, Crookhouse. Crookhouse, that's right. I don't know where they are, actually. <laughs> I forgot I think the Would Imogen and I know where the Crookhouse is? Having oh. been here a little you bit You wouldn't longer? know where the Crookhouse is. You would know where the, the Fonsi Hollow is. Fonsi Hollow, you might know. Which, which you heard them mention. And so you can go there and search and ask around until you find it. We were going to also meet up together at dawn. Yeah, I think. Maybe the best bet, oh God, I don't know, would be to, to sleep and meet them when we're supposed to and let them know what's happening. Let them get a full rest. As you're having this conversation. Let me touch the button, let me touch the button. I know. I want to touch the button. <laughs> <laughs> the monster button? Yeah. yeah. The uh, Lord <laughs> Esteros kind of steps over to where you've laid Bertrand on the ground and kind of kneels down, holding the cane that you ha handed him. And just gingerly places it into his hand and closes the fingers around it and kind of pats it before standing back up and still looking down. There is too much injustice. We're not pushing back hard enough. And he turns and leaves the room. Go over to Bertrand and kneel down next to him and just like, I'm gonna look at his face really closely, stare at it for a while to see if there's any, anything I can see on him that would connect him to my dreams. And um, I'm gonna lean down very close to where my face is on the side of his to see if I hear any noise. Looking over him, nothing, nothing strikes you as a direct connection to anything in your dream. You contemplate, and you focus. Stand by Dorian. Put my head on his shoulder. It's not your fault. No. I know. Do you? <laughs> Mr. Clem's over her shoulder and kind of onto yours and just kind of like pushes against you. I'll give him a scratch behind the ears. <laughs> I'm going to say into Bertrand's head. It's just mentally. I'm, I'm glad the noise has stopped for you. I'm glad you're at peace. I'll go stand by Lana. I'll just give her a big hug. something sooner. I know. I know it's a burden. I get headaches just from listening to people chatter out loud. <laughs> Could only imagine the dumb shit people have rolling around inside their heads. Bertram was 
full of a lot of dumb shit. He was. Yeah, he was. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, Fern. Hi. Have you been to that place before that you see in your dreams? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I always, um. I'm always at home in my dreams. Um, and then, um. And then a storm comes. Have you ever. Not to, uh, sorry if this sounds rude, but have you lost anyone that you're so personally connected with? That's the thing, like. Um, I mean, no, no not really. Um, I've told you, I've told you about how I hear that voice speaking to me and I've always just, I don't know how I know, but it's, it's my mother, you know, helping me. And, um, like I always imagined it was, it was her and I don't know, speaking to me from another realm or something, leading me away and, it was hopeful. Uh, but now that Mr. Bell has passed away and he was in the dream too, like, what does that mean? Does that mean? It could still be a sign of hope, or at least a, a warning to keep you from getting in the same danger. Through all of that, all of that conversation, Orm has been silent the whole time on the other side of Bertram. Mostly not wanting to speak out of turn and just listening and looking at Bertram. And it's really subtle, but he's struck by the fact that two days ago, no one in this room knew each other. And he can feel them leaning on each other a little bit, and just notes it and tucks it away. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> I'm so sorry we interrupted you guys' sleep. No, this was very, <clears throat> very important. And, you know, sleeping's for the dead. Oops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You this, I just have really great timing. You hear um, this odd noise echo from somewhere in the room. And you all hear it loudly upwards, and you look to the ceiling above, and you see blades in an awkward pattern, all suddenly jutting about an inch or so out of the wood and stopping, and just kind of almost laying there like this spread of sharpened points. Oh no, is Mr. Esteros? Did he? Did someone else die just now? <laughs> one of the one of the blades gets pulled out, and there's a slight bit of light that comes out. And, Sorry, I'm just clearing the room. <laughs> and the next one. And the next one. I could help you patch that. I. Sir, sure, go for it. Start mending, <laughs> patching. Like a little yeah, we're yeah. on the ceiling. You just slime up like a full of mud or something. <laughs> <laughs> For goopy hands. <laughs> Eventually, the room is ready, and Evelyn lets you know whenever you're looking to rest. It is yours. We should get some sleep. I know FCG and Ashton are going to be meeting us early. Yeah, we should get as much sleep as we can. You're all right. I'm all right. <clears throat> Tired. Sad. Yeah. 
get some sleep. Everything is better after a night's rest. Or a nap. It's gonna be more like a nap. A long nap. Does it, does it add up? Does a long rest? Yeah, can we get one if we is take it a cumulative? Nap? I'll I'll say yeah. it doesn't have to be like if you all of a sudden wake up in the middle of your it's eight hours, good. it doesn't reset. Okay. Um, say between the two, you can eventually get another three four hours of sleep or so and and complete your long rest. But yes, you eventually awake after a long drawn out evening, <laughs> physically and emotionally. <laughs> two episodes. You're killing me. I just had this like notification on her screen. I just wanted, just wanted to just click it away for episodes. The dismiss. <laughs> yeah. It's been killing me. You let you cookies. a lot of emails sit, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. It's the weirdest character death I've ever had. Well. So, night's rest. Both of you come to consciousness in the cookhouse. As you do, the uh, morning sounds greet you as you begin to kind of pour over the events of the previous day, the successes that you saw, and the events that you have before you. Uh, as you begin to wrestle and gather yourself, Annie kind of pokes into where you're sleeping. Is Annie! Hey. Hey. So? Did you get work? I, we got work. We got work. That's we sure did. We got work. There's money coming in. I've already dropped some with Milo. I think. I feel like this is going to be an ongoing gig. This feels. This has got a. This got a feeling. It's got a feeling. I, it doesn't feel like anything to me, but it, it. It sure could. They know. They've got a feeling. But yeah, we're That's gonna have. Great. I love we're, it. We're gonna Can have, I have some. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to throw. Uh, what, what do I got? I'm going to throw like a hundred gold. Whoa! In, I, I, I uh, it, uh, I'm going to throw a hundred gold at, 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 at Annie because. And he goes, "Holy shit! It's a good gig." I'm yeah, not. Yeah, keep doing this. We're not necessarily going to be around a lot for a while. Let 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 everybody know. Let Milo know. I think we're going to be having to pull some all-nighters. So I'm going to get a new outfit and instrument for the Dreamscape audition. I'm I'm looking forward to it. How 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 goes the rehearsals? They're fine. Yeah, you ready to show us anything? No. <laughs> you sure it's better to rehearse in front of an audience? Yeah. That is patently not true. I do most of my work away from everybody. Okay, that's fair. If that makes you comfortable, I it appreciate does. the attempt. But you will, you will have to play in front of others at some point, and so it's better yeah, to do. Yeah, when they pay for it. Okay. Oh, I will be so happy to pay to give you my honest opinion of what you're working on right now. It'll be great. I cannot wait. Me neither. Thanks, Ash. You know how to find me. Uh, let Myla know they know how to find me. Have a smiley day. Oh, every time. <laughs> Smiley <as> fucking day! <laughs> <laughs> I just walks away, both middle fingers in the air. She likes you. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, meet well, the new I think we were supposed to be there closer to dawn, but <laughs> no one, no one, these, these folks, um, they're, they're probably not even we're there. We're still yet. gonna be the first. Yeah. And yeah. I got an idea. Let's make some friends. Let's pick up some sandwiches on the way. Let's get some like breakfast sandwiches. Breakfast I got a place sandwiches. down here. <laughs> Trust me, they're great. I, I do trust you. I, that you still have some some funds left over for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got some stuff left. I'm not You're so generous this out. morning. This is amazing. Yeah, when you got it, you got to use it. So that's true. Die All right. It. What are you gonna do? All Lead right. The way. I'm gonna go get some breakfast sandwiches for. For let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six breakfast sandwiches. Seven. Okay. No, no. Bertram can buy his own. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll, say that, we'll say that puts you back uh, yeah. three silver uh, for the full batch. I want like a runny egg. A runny egg. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Avocado with yes. pepper and salt in there. We're going to start. Oh All right. We go to the meetup at. Uh, Window to wall. Yeah, there's yep. the arch. Yeah. You guys yeah. talked about it. The vertical part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good call. The rest of you 
wake up briefly caught off guard by the unfamiliar space, that moment of when you wake up in a hotel room and you're like, where am I? Um, this room is extremely dusty, and you can see in the floor uh, the shredded parts of the rug uh, as part of the entryway to it where the blades were set. While the floor is repaired, the rug itself is still kind of jacked up a bit, and kind of glancing at that, you can look up and see there are all manner of like hidden spring contraptions and yeah, you get a little sense of the seriousness that Estros lives under day to day. Glad it was dark in here when we came in last night. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go find our friends. Good news, I didn't dream about them, so they're probably still alive. Hey. hey. That's good, that's good, that's good. You gather your things and head out into the morning light here in Drusar. The evening mist that had gathered around the base of the jungle still sits heavy over the vistas before you, and you can barely see the jungle. It looks like you're sitting amongst these mountain tops high up in the sky, and there's just clouds beneath you. But you know in the next few hours or so, this will burn away into a verdant jungle scape. Um. Have the birds started yet? <laughs> yeah, the birds have begun to <laughs> Uh, to take to the skies and the familiar distant chattering of thousands upon thousands of jungle birds can occasionally waft through the air around you. Um, Orem gives Dorian just a, a little shoulder check, like a little bump. You, you okay? I feel good. I feel um, a little angry. I get that. Yeah. I want to get everyone together. That's where we're going, right? Do we know how to find them? Yeah. You yeah. know where we're going? Yeah, we're going to the vertical gardens. Oh, that's so nice. Why did you look down? You said. I just, I just look away every time I say it because it means so much to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> I was really practicing to come back and when I'm speaking to the person. I was like, oh, look at the. <laughs> <laughs> We all love waiting for Gaffman. Yeah. We just love waiting for Gaffman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just aged when he said that. <laughs> He's been giving me extensive notes on. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you two have been waiting there for quite a bit, holding a handful of sandwiches and uh, you know, dodging the occasional cluster of birds wandering overhead uh, until you see the rest of your troop approach. Oh, you're awake. Okay, that's good. I have food for everyone. We can start out fresh. Everybody, eat their sandwiches. Good morning. Bertrand's dead. Sorry, I probably should have. Dead, tired? No. Oh. Dead. Now I feel kind of bad for not getting him a sandwich. Is it because of this stuff, or is it other stuff? Is it old age? No, it was, it was old stabbing. Old New stabbing. stabbing. Was Hasn't it? changed in two thousand years. <laughs> but old stabbing. It wasn't. It wasn't because of what happened last night, right? That wasn't. Was it? Talk that... to Oren. Oren thinks so. Yeah. Um, it's pretty clear that he um, had a run-in with the same kind of uh, weaponry. The fuck. Jack are are you all, all okay? Were you involved at all? No. Just. But we found him. I think he was out for a walk, maybe. And we think that they found him. The ones that we fought? Hmm. Yeah. Imogen had a nightmare in the middle of the night. Clued us in. Is that, you do that? That's a thing, okay, I'm putting that away. Apparently that's a thing I do, I don't know. Well, often. Nightmares? Very often. Premonitions? Yeah. No. No. I, I gotta go back and think about all the dreams I've had to see if anything. I don't think so. Has anybody else thought about the fact that that means that we might? Be on a list somewhere. Oh yes. oh yes. Okay, good. And so we're we're all gonna figure this out, right? This yeah. is what we're gonna do. Yes, Lord Esteros. We went and saw him last night after we found him. We didn't know where you guys were. 
Otherwise, we would have gone to you too immediately. Oh, I'm so Fair. sorry. Um, no, we, we live in, in the Crook House, right, which is yeah. in the Fonsi Hollow. I'll write it down. The Fonsi Hollow. We just figured by the time we found you, it would be time to get up. No, I'm just happy for the sleep. Um, but Lord Esros has, has kindly said that we can stay at his house for as long as we need to, to keep safe. All right. Well, that's mighty kind of him. Is everyone all right? You know, a shock like this can be traumatic for for folks like you. Does anyone need to talk about it or cry or anything to to get to get it out? It's not the first person I've worked with who's died before. I mean, this is kind of a kind of a thing that happens in this field, right? Like, and like, really, that's kind of the dream. <clears throat> Old and in shape, that's when you want to go. I mean, it's practically a win. Or in the long run of things. In the short term, we have targets on our backs, probably. Astros thinks we should stick together for the time being. And I think the question is do we want to sit and wait or do we want to figure this out? I want to go back to the hole. The hole? Where the shade creepers came oh. out. The way we're in. Oh, yeah. That's right. I agree. The weary way. <laughs> Why did you look down when you said that? <laughs> it's dramatic. Sure. Just can't. Just look people in the eye. I've been being here for three weeks. <laughs> oh, fresh cut. Oh. Um, have you ever had a Werther's original? I haven't. Is it? Is it? Where are you going to put I know it? you only have copper, but I feel like it's the same type of thing. That's true. I'll try one. Goddamn it, traps. If this Fair. breaks them, I'm going to be so upset. I will mash it around in my jaw area. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get any nutrition or any flavor from it? Break a metal cog. Even if you weren't an automaton, no. Wow! That's not true. They are very tasty. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. just yeah. burned the Werther's <laughs> Bridge. <laughs> Show me that's like fine. a few oh. against the Werther's <laughs> Bridge. <laughs> We already pissed off Tootsie Pop Owl guy. <laughs> Next up is Werther's. One by one, we're plinking them off. Somewhere there's a, a fellow with a straw hat going. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I hear my Twitter going off? No one's tweeted Werther's since '43. <laughs> To that point, Dorian, your sandwich is gone. Wow, oh, what a tangent. Dorian, your breakfast sandwich is gone. What happened to it? Did I eat it? No, you took a bite. <laughs> oh, I'm just disassociating right just now gone. in a really big way. Like you took a bite, and listening to this conversation, you realize it's gone. Oh. What happened oh. to it? You look down on the ground, there's Mr. sitting there with crumbs oh. in his mouth, just like. Mister! <laughs> Do you know if he actually even gets anything out of that? Doesn't it just sort of burn up? <laughs> just oh. ash and smoke come pouring out the side of the mouth. I mean, I give him treats all the time. That's why he's gotten so round. <laughs> he's just, he's my little, my little roly-poly. Do you think Mister <laughs> would like pate? I think you would love pate. Okay. <gasps> Mister, come here. I, I have a friend for you. Oh, oh, oh! He watches this monkey just bursts into flame, and it's just like this, this small elemental beast of fury as it goes and grabs a flaming pile of Mister yes. <laughs> and has it at the ready. No, 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 no. Can you believe this, Pate? I know, so rude. <laughs> I'm going to give Pate some pets. Hello, Pate. Oh, you're you just, so you just, sweet. Pate just nuzzles on. Drops oh. the flame seed and then comes over and pushes Pate out of the way and gets under your hand, jealously. Okay. Okay. This Jealousy. might be a bit much. I'll put him back in under my cape. <laughs> oh, just want to be friends. <laughs> the flames eventually subside. Right. Mm. It's okay. If I may, 
I've seen people grieve in a lot of different ways, and this is just a, a little bit new to me. Are, are you okay, both of you? I think so. I, I just, I, this is just how I am. Oh, all right. I just, I, I pick up Mister and put him back under my cape and nuzzle him back in. Lauren looks up at Imogen. This 24 hours has a lot of range. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I can't give you the rest of my sandwich, it's too good. Mm, me? I'm a Gennardi shared, but then she unshared, she gave, I, and then I reshared. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just gave you the whole thing, and I was just. I, I still, I know, I know, I know, and then why I. you got an extra sandwich. I knew I should have gotten an extra sandwich. Thank, Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. I'm not going to finish mine either. I, I eat like Why a does bird. everyone think I need so much sandwich? I, I, it's just, you've been through a lot. No, I, we've all been through you've a lot. You've got the hunger guilt. Orm <laughs> has the and bottomless stomach in this group. Uh, that was one time. Mm, Thank I, you. I saw what happened. I hand half of my sandwich up as high as I can. It's probably not quite high enough to mister. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Here. Get in there. Here. It's, it takes but a second before it's snatched from your hand. Just a hand popping yep. out. Yep. <laughs> and the rest of it just pulls it under the cloak, and you see the cloak is kind of moving. <laughs> Thank you, Arnold. I'm three foot three. I break my half into quarters, and I put one into the <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, that probably, that sandwich is probably so Yeah, when I got it, I was like, whoa. <laughs> 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 it's like a Subway breakfast. Actually. It's a week's worth of food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know we're going to Denny's. Come on. Huh? Alrighty. Oh no. You had your breakfast. Yeah. Where are you off to? Um, Everyone had a plan. We're Somebody going back to the weary way the in. The weary way. Yes, we are. Okay. Return to the scene of the crime. There it's you always go. a yeah. smart. You head back to the Lantern Spire into the weary way in, and it's early in the morning. It's it's busy, but mainly just patrons before they head off to work. Just kind of getting their day started. Um, a lot of hangovers, um, but the place is yours to explore. As we walk up, can I look up at the balcony to the room that we were in? To you can. That was in the back side of the oh. structure in the alley behind it, but you can go ahead and head around that yeah. way if you'd like to. I'll just sit and take a peek up in the balcony, see if I see any change. Okay, make perception check. New customers. God damn it, I've ever rolled above 10. Worst. Whole game. 12. Worst. Twelve. Glancing up, nothing seems out of the ordinary. Okay, I'm going to meet back with the others. Okay. You head inside, and there you can meet the same uh, female orc uh, tavern keep who runs the establishment. Hi there. Morning. Morning. What did you need? Uh, you know, we stayed here uh, recently, and um, yeah, okay. And and then we tried other places around town, and we didn't like any place as much as we liked it here. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> We're wondering if the room that uh, that we um, visited is available now. It was just perfect. It had. It was like in the back. It was private. And we have, this is sort of like a, an old friend reunion, and we're just looking for, like, to get away from the crowds. What, what, what room is that? It was room beep. I feel like I was like, man, no, I said this earlier. And I said it's it's clearly room beep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm you describe the space control. and the, recall the number of the yeah, rooms. Yeah, it was on the back corner, it was right on the corner. The furniture was balcony outside. outside. Still currently <laughs> occupied. Uh, however, uh, whenever they check out of the room, oh, you're welcome okay. to pick up from there. I see, I see, okay, okay. We'll probably stay somewhere else for a bit, thank you. Yeah, no worries. What are you called, by the way? Oh, me? I'm uh, Kamala the Maven. Kamala the Maven? That's I've cool. that name. The Maven part. By taking Being care the of folks as they come in here and get fucking drunk. Okay. Well, pleased to meet you. Just call me Kamala, that's good. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, we can't go up there, is that I, it? I, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna go see if they're gonna <clears throat> gonna clear out soon, you know? I mean, oh. they said it was still occupied, but it was occupied by the people that we... We, yeah, we know it's yeah, occupied. Yeah, let's go talk, yeah, 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 let's, let's go. go. Talk. And figure out where we're gonna stay next. 
I'm okay. gonna just go up to the the outside of the room. Okay. Mm. Um, and like away from everyone else. Uh, and just oh god, don't fuck me again, please. And I'm just gonna um, open up my mind outside of the door okay. and see if I can sense anyone in there. Okay. Go ahead and make your saving throw. Self-inflicted Okay, good, that's great. Okay. I definitely passed, I rolled a 15. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, you can sense a few minds in adjacent rooms, but that room is currently empty of any sort of intelligent mind. Great. The rest of you said are coasting around the back alley? Sure. Oh, yeah, sure, I can, I'll meet back up with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the door, um, as busted up as we left it, or is it fully mended? I forget if Laudna fully mended it or. You mended it enough to close it, and it looks like it's left as it was. Can I just see if it's unlocked? Uh, you go ahead and push for it, and it appears to be unlocked. Mm. I'm just going <laughs> to. Excuse you. Go in and walk straight out onto the balcony on the backside. All right. As you all kind of curve around to the back alleyway looking up, you can see the uh, the door open onto the balcony, the, the one on the right, and you can image Someone's it. Someone's there! Killer! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> do that. It's left as it was. You can still see the burn scuff marks on the wooden floor where the uh, shade creepers had burst into flame and then turned to ash. The ash pile's still left in those little scarred spaces where you've tossed in the, the, the furniture's been ruined and destroyed and the cabinet that was bashed into pieces still remains left as it was. This room is as you recall. Well, wow. all right. You guys can come on up. I don't know. Can you hop up? Worm does just a little bit of a squat, and like a flea goes, and then one arm catches the bottom of the balcony, mm -hmm. and then you watch as he grabs and then flexes his little tiny abs, and he just rolls up. Wow. And stands next to. Very That's really amazing. Uh, Shoes. Shit. Wow. Um, Do you mind giving me a lift again? I'm just gonna keep a lookout, and make sure there's no like guards <laughs> visible. <laughs> Watching us do it. Yeah, yeah is let's go on the street down with us as well. <laughs> I'll just look around, see yeah. if there's any folks watching. I only rolled an eleven. I, I rolled, rolled an eight. Over the railing, <laughs> down to the ground. Oh, oh right. well, that's convenient. I'm princess flying Laudna up once again. <laughs> thing. Did you say you dropped a rope? Yep. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. You all, those who wish to, make it up onto the balcony. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna do through. a mirthful leap. Go for oh. it. Easy. Yes. Yes. And one big jump. Uh, wow. Glancing about, you do not see anybody specifically paying attention to you, but there is the sound of bustle and, and businesses that are adjacent to the establishment that are now coming to life as the day continues. I'm going to tie the rope and I'm going to pull it back up so we have it there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to investigate? Yeah. And Go back specifically to the hall. What happened hall here? Was <laughs> <laughs> that uh, desk in the corner? Yeah. Yeah. Now, as, as you spend a moment in here, you can see that some of the furniture has been moved, the broken things have been sifted through. Uh, when you were leaving, it was as the sound of individuals making a path to the room you were at from hearing the scuffle. So you do get the sense that this room at least has been discovered in disarray, though it's nothing's been done yet. It leads you to believe that you are essentially in the middle of a crime scene. Great. Um, Looking over to the space where you saw the original opening, that similar uh, pathway that descends in between the walls still remains, about a foot and a half wide. And it kind of curves into the wall and then drops. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm just looking. Can't see much. Do you want to hold on to his pant? Need, need some light? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, oh you've you got, got no. no you've no. If you, after please, you, feel free. I want you to do your special things. No, I want you to do your special I things. I only have a, an item, but it's not. It's probably not as cool as what you were. Mine doing. only goes 120 feet. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna light up my balls. <laughs> Send them down the shaft. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, the classic can trip. Oh. Imogen's balls. <laughs> this is the high fantasy you've tuned <laughs> Uh, they drift uh, inward, and where the space is between the walls, you, you know, with the light in there, and you kind of glance down, you can see the space is very tight. And like you could fit in there, 
uncomfortably so and drop down. And then you can see where, it, where the, the in-between space hits the floor. Oh, it's tight even for me. Mm. Mm. To, 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 to get between the two, the, you're basically between the equivalent of drywall. Like, like there, there are two wooden elements to the chamber below, uh, wherever the rooms are below, and there's a gap maybe about that wide. And so you're having to like, you would, for you to drop down into it if you wanted to. So no one's following me if I go down there. No. But wasn't the, the dwarf that we were fighting, wasn't he bigger than you, Orin? Yeah. Yeah. But we just saw the little The shadows were squishy. Yeah. Oh, I understand. Yeah, the Probably shade like creepers could, could fit in more, probably. And with the light, you can play a stomach make a perception check, actually. <clears throat> Double 18s for a 22. All righty. Uh, looking down amongst the, the center space between the walls, the, the kind of basic stone floors that they're set and built upon, there is a section of stone a little off to the right of where you're looking down that it looks like there's a burrowed hole or an opening that descends deeper past the foundation. So structure and then something burrowed up into the structure. Correct. But no one's getting down there except maybe me. Maybe, yeah. Or him. Shit. Does it yeah. look like it could connect to the outside wall, to the foundation, if we tried Whoa. busting through from the outside. It's kind of, I pulled back out of there. It's yeah. kind of hard to tell. None of you guys are getting in there, not even you. Maybe me. It's tight. Um, I could go down and see if there's another way to get to it. We could tie a rope around my waist. What if, what if this is okay? I've seen you do some things where you've crickled and crackled and made yourself into a, a certain way. I've got really terrible joints. Yes, do you think you could? I just don't want you to go alone. I've seen you do things where you, you turn into turn other into things. things. Oh, yeah, a crab. Oh, well. That's true. <laughs> that's true as well. Or your snake. Slither right on in. That's true. Or you could send oh. pate. Mm. Okay. Pate can't get further than six inches from my fingers. Mm. Gotcha. Not yet. Under <laughs> Yes. Mm. Working on. Mm. Work. What do you think? Is it worth it, Orm? Is there anything down there that makes you think? I don't know. Might as well try. I don't know. But you guys strike me as a uh, pretty formidable little group. You'll yank me up if you need to, if sure. I have Fern with me. Yeah, I'll I mean, go with you. if I have Fern with me, should be all right. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's just a spooky hole that creepy monsters of, crawled out of. No. Pretty powerful little guys. <clears throat> Take this. What's that? It's my rock chisel. Oh, for, oh, for wow. Oh. Nothing fancy, but it is designed for chipping yeah. through rocks. <laughs> Suddenly, Lon has got like. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, that's more appropriate. Where's your face? And take this too. Bing! I'll flip you my coin of delving. Whoa. Oh, it, it shines just a dim light with, within five feet of you. Oh, wow. Um, and if you, if you get to a deeper hole, you can just toss it down, and it'll make a, a sound that gives you like a sort of a an image of what of like what's a ping? yeah, like a ping. That's oh, cool. Wow. Yeah, but then I don't want to lose it. Oh, uh, it, it's fine. Okay. I mean, it's, okay. Well, I'll hold on. Money, to it. money means nothing to me. So. <laughs> and Literally. you know, if you found something of value, knowledge, in the first you know few minutes, I'll be able to tell. Okay. You can let me know. Oh, okay, right, because you're you. Yeah. Okay, so I take the sash from around my waist, mm -hmm. and I put the coin here, and I wrap a couple of times so I have a little light. Fantasy <laughs> 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 headlamp. Forehead, a headlamp. Cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Tie it tight, and I've got your hammer, and I get the rope around my waist. I feel silly. Let's go ahead and do you this. Look, you look silly. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going in as? Then? Yeah, I'll go in as the, as the snake. I'll just... Drop. Okay. And then sort of float up. You've got it. So, shh, are you going, are you oh. sticking to oh. Orem or are you going to I'll, I'll just hit him with a quick guidance. Me first or me first, what's better? Uh, I'll go first. Because I feel like you can communicate 
I just can listen, but I can understand. I'll go first. I'll hit. I'll hit you with just a little guidance and okay. wish you well. I hand uh, the rope to Ashton. Got it. Okay. Here we go. Good luck. That's the last thing I saw, and I. <laughs> <laughs> Just doing mime escalator. We'll never see him again. <laughs> it was like the haunted mansion. It was like, oh god. <laughs> so as you squirm your way in between the two walls and slowly get to the floor with your feet finding purchase on what is the foundation of the chamber, you, you're about a foot and a half to the right of you, uh, is where the continued burrow hole goes downward. Are you going separately or along with Orem? Um, along with Orem. Okay. Um, but just a little behind, so I'll stick my head down and then realize I can't really do what he did, so I'll just wiggle the rest of my body over and just <laughs> <laughs> Not enough to do damage, you're light enough where it wasn't an issue, but you do a little clumsy, but nobody saw it, you're fine. No. <laughs> I'm just thinking, going, Imogen, I don't know if you can hear this. I can. Uh, oh, okay, it's a big mole hole down here. All right, Any anything? Dangerous? Not as of yet. All right. I'll go f further. Okay. So you go and approach the edge of this hole. Mm -hmm. It does look roughly carved, burrowed to a certain extent, <clears throat> and uh, uh, if you want to make an investigation check to look over its make. Mm, sure, Fern. Stay close. You can also you you can use a bonus too because you're still you do have guidance. If you need. You have guidance. So if you need. Mm -hmm. How long does guidance last? I think it's a, a minute. minute. Okay. So guidance is a uh, D four. D four. I'm gonna need it because that was a low roll. Seven so investigation. Yes. Mm, shiny balls. That is an eight. Eight. Oh, Hard to ice. tell. It, I mean, it, it it doesn't look smoothed, mm -hmm. but you you have you can't really make out. What created it? How long it's been there? Like none of that. This is hard, hard to make out. Talking to the snake. Came this far. Do you want to go further? Flick once for yes and twice for no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. The boss. <laughs> and start to move down the burrow a bit. Got, okay. The, the burrow goes straight down. Yeah. Oh, straight down. Yeah. Mm. It's in the it's in the ground. Like it's a down. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Imogen, tell Ashton to get a good grip on that rope. Ashton, hold on tightly. I am. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I know you are. That's literally coming straight all from I'm Orin. doing. I'm straight like, from Orin. Mm. I believe don't, that you don't backseat rope hold. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, Ashton. I no, apologize. no, I'm, 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 I'm angry at him. It's okay, not you. Fern, I don't want you to to dump down this hole like you did down here. Why don't you like wrap around me like a like a belt? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> could have been a necklace. Yeah, nope. I'll just <laughs> swing it up a sash. and sort of go around him a, a few times. You got it, Simon. And then maybe up, <laughs> up, put my head up on his shoulder. Oh, okay. Right. She's massive. Yeah. yeah. It's you. Yeah. I look like the Michelin yeah. man. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start to. This is very like. Mm -hmm. Lower it down a little bit at a time. It's very race stands in Ghostbusters 2. Yeah. Yes. With this shining coin. Yep. <laughs> As you begin to descend the rope, the uh, the air in here, I mean, all between the walls in here is pretty stale, un, you know, for the most part, untouched air. There's no draft. Within this hole, there is a slight temperature change and just a faintly warmer, and the smell is, it's earthy, Make a perception check for me. 18 and a 19 for a 23. That was really good. Um, 
there is also almost like a like a charcoal smell to the space. But it's still just a, a passage down. Yeah. There's nothing else. Straight down. And like, as you begin to go, how long is the rope? 50 feet. 50 feet. You get about 30 feet down, and it's still just dropping. And still dropping. 40 feet, and then you get to the end of the rope, and there you are dangling, looking down into this abyss, about two feet wide, that just continues to descend. But still walls to my left and right, so it just keeps going, going, going. It just keeps going. It hasn't straight. opened up, okay. No, I'm it's just going down. Down his body and wrapping my tail around his ankle so mm-hmm. I can just get a little further to see. Okay. Try to see. Make a perception check. Angle my forehead down. Yeah, with his, with his headlamp, it does help. Head coin. <laughs> I use mine, right? Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Nobody else can see it. I what know is what it? it is first. <laughs> yes. Twenty-three. Oh. Okay. Twenty-three. See? Twenty-three. And I have blind sight. Yes, you do. Oh, cool. Um. You see very clearly that this just continues on to the very edge of your visual range, straight down. With your perception as well, you can see on the walls around you. They look broken, carved, but you can see all manner of claw marks. Like these have been climbed and skittered up through. Gross. Numerous times. Um, you okay, Fernie? I'm gonna kind of get close to the wall and taste a little bit of the claw marks. Try to see what I can taste. Okay. The claw. <laughs> <laughs> claw. Using the same perception roll. Um, it tastes like the edge of a dirt wall. Um, the, you nice. you don't pick up anything specific. Uh, it isn't the palette isn't so strong that you would pick up anything particular than just the makeup of the wall itself. But you can now say you've tasted a clawed wall. Um, <laughs> kind of slither up and come back to his shoulder. How did you? You just said the coin. Yeah, Letters. if you if you After drop it, you said if I drop it, it gives it will a make a sound and tell you exactly how far, how deep. Yeah. Like bats. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, shoot. Goodbye. All right. Uh, stick in close, Fern. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's I'm good about to uh, lose visual. You drop it, and looking down, you can see the glow of this tiny little bead of light. You see it shifting slightly as the air shifts. You can see the tunnel kind of turn slightly, and so you can't see it anymore. There's some sort of a shift or a curve to the to the drop, but you still don't hear anything. Oh, what? What? And it you just went, went. It just went like, just out of view, but you haven't heard it really impact anything. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at here. I just dropped Letter's coin. Keep looking, because he's going to tell you when it's going to drop. It's going around a corner? All right. And you wait. <sighs> bing, bing, bing. I spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. The magic of this. Let's any creature who hears the chime determine the distance it was dropped based on the coin alone. So you and Fern immediately, magically understand that coin dropped about 1,200 feet. Oh! See, that's why I started oh. talking to you, because it oh, just kept really going on and going. But anybody that heard that sound also knows how long it dropped? Mm-hmm. So if there were any creatures 1,200 feet down that heard it would have known that something was in the tunnel? Yep. Or at least something, something, something dropped, dropped yeah. and made a noise. Okay, what were you saying in a room? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 
Fraggles? That would be the cutest thing. That would be. Yeah. <laughs> just came up, <laughs> stirring up the walls and <laughs> little dozer. Devoured fern and orm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Death by Muppet. <laughs> oh man. It's the it's worst radishes. way to go. <laughs> okay, uh, tell Ashton to start hoisting us up. Um, I think they need help coming back up. If uh, fast or slow? Fast or slow? Um, slow to medium yeah, is right. probably fine. Slow to medium, he said. Yeah, just doing a nice hoist. At the size of your your friends and your strength, yeah. you don't even have to roll for it, you're fine. You manage to guide them back up through the wall. You kind of like, you know, scuff against one of the edges, and you can see there's like an awkward iron nail that's sticking out from one of the wooden walls that almost catches you, and you kind of push away. And then you get lifted back up, and then out of the hole in the side of the wall that delves into the wall, and you're now back amongst your friends. Welcome back. Okay, I thought maybe, I don't know, underground passage or sewer system, I'm new here. It just went forever, well over a thousand feet. I lost your coin. Oh, okay. You said it'd be okay? <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. But it is okay, it's right? It's totally fine. Yep. <laughs> I feel like maybe you're not okay no, with it being I'm gone. No, I'm fine with it. It, was, it, it served its purpose, so it's good. I'll trap one. Oh no, was it a special coin? Did it have sentimental value? Oh, I mean, I mean. Was it from a dead friend? Was it from one of your other dead robots? It oh, was, no, sometimes it really is from somebody that's dead. It was from oh. somebody who's dead, yes. Oh. It's from, it, oh, no, no. Dancer gave it to me, but it, it's, all, it's all good. It's fine. It's we'll fine. Find it it's again. interesting. I've never seen them make this face before, which is amazing because your face can barely make any, any face. You that's do. really exactly. impressive. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I mean, we're all a bit grieving right now from Bertrand's death, right? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, all yes. you all are feeling sad about that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. I didn't get that yeah. impression no. before. Yeah, we're feeling sad about okay. it. Well, this mm. is one other thing to be sad about. Well. <laughs> well, if we ever go down there, we could find it. Again. Absolutely. And you know, now we just have to get it. down there. Yeah. Or Orm just starts rifling through his, his packs and pulls out a little sack. I, I, I don't know how much that is worth, but it seems like the sentimental value must be high. This is here's take two hundred um, gold. If you're I, if you're hungry or if you need to buy no, something I'm, to replace it. No, I'm good. It. Thank you. No, honestly, I it, really insist. I, I really feel bad. It helped about you. Don't want it helped you down there, and it was for your safety. And I'm happy that you used it. That's what it was for. We needed to use it. Not for even sure. kidding. All right. Do do I know if the lantern spire is hollow? Like, what is inside the lantern spire? Uh, make a history check. Good. 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 Cool. Nope. That's a. God, I should bring my glasses more often. Uh, that would be a thing to do. That is a six. A six. So like, you have no idea. I don't know what's I mean, inside you, the. You you do know that there are uh, carved tunnels through most of the spires. The that, that that is how the sewage itself is is channeled and then deployed at the base. Sure. Uh, in. <laughs> Muck piles. But like I know the core spire, the lantern, like lantern spire is not really. Yeah, you don't you don't spend a lot of time in the lantern spire. You've been through a number of times and you've done some business here, but you've nothing particular. Stop. Did anything um, s s strike you when you were exploring? Well, it's completely dark down there, mm -hmm. and those things clearly are dug their up way up. There. Yeah, and they must be able to reuse it, and I think they might have dug it. And it just dropped for an impossibly long amount of time and then curved? And your coin just must have just swung around. I don't know how that thing works. Did you hear it hit solid ground or, or water? That sounded like stone, yeah? Hmm. Well, we would know. You sound, know it would have been a ting, so it wouldn't have yeah. been water. Oh. It hit something solid. What if. It did kind of feel like the. The wind kind of just took it. Like there are drafts down there? Yeah, so maybe if we jump, we'll just get into a draft. Oh, um, I was um, going a totally different direction. Oh, okay. no. I don't think that's a good plan at no? all. Okay. No, okay. I mean, maybe if we had some sort of mountain climbing <clears throat> utility, you know, we could. There is also, I'm sorry. No, go. We, no, I no, don't go. Want to interrupt. I've already been so rude. 
You have? I've been pressing you about your dead your, friend. Your, that's what you do, it's fine. How did she die? She was eviscerated <laughs> by an unknown monster. Oh. Yeah. Right. With you, with your other. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was impressive. Horrible. Yeah. I really yeah. think you should take the 200 gold. I mean, I, I feel it. terribly. I don't buy things. It's fine. But I thought you ate, like it's metal, right? So they're just gonna give it to me. It doesn't matter. I will just give that will to you. Will you hold this 200 oh, fuck for yeah. them? Will it make you feel better? Yeah. Fuck yeah. All right. Okay. Win-win. <laughs> well, what Great. I was going to say was, <laughs> Imogen and I know of another entrance into. The Shade Creepers. Uh, lair oh. tunnels. Oh, really? They were different. They were different. They looked yes. alive. These ones are, are less, you know, yes. explosive. How do you know about that? Well, when we uh, first met Shadonna, or It was our first night here. Our very first night. She um, kept having issues with creepy things in the middle of the night, stealing things, and tenants complaining about weird feelings and nightmares, and um, we discovered a similar hole like this behind one of the beds in the guest room. That you could fit into? We couldn't fit no. into it, no. We never went down so it. Okay. But so it's still there. We, we blocked it off is all. Got it. But we know where it is. What'd it smell like? Um, would, I, would we remember what it smelled like? You didn't really delve that deeply into it at the time. It smelled a lot like uh, Charcoal or something down there. Really? Yeah. Charcoal. What is it they mine here? I. I mean, do they mine the lantern spire? I thought it was just mostly. Lantern just the, spire? No. The smolder spire yeah. is where the majority of industry of that kind that takes place. And you you know the smolder spire because it's the one that emanates numerous streams of black and gray smoke from from different uh, buildings and operations that tends to. Mingle with the mist sometimes and cloud other districts, and people complain about it constantly. Yeah, this is like the, this is like a tourist district. It just don't come here. Is that visible from every spire? For the most part, yeah. yeah. Okay. How? I mean, these spires are so tall. This one's no. How how tall is the spire? Which one, the lantern? The one that we're in right now. Yeah, the lantern spire is the shortest of all of them. I don't know. I Laura doesn't know right, the right. math of what feet equates to tallness. Like no, twelve hundred feet is fucking really high, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. that's probably from for this spire in particular. It's near its base, if not deeper. If every right. flight of a building is like roughly ten feet. But it, right. it, at night, it's got a big like seven story tall flame that like it's right. like a giant giant. Maybe all the spires are connected. I mean, yes. or that could have been an old. You know, poop shoot that just they used. It's true. What, what do they burn? What do we know? What they burn? I don't actually know like what they the, burn here. To light the spire. You don't know. I don't know. Maybe you said if it is like a coal shoot or something. Maybe we head to the base and then we see what we can find. Well, what are what are our what are what are, what are our leads here? What do we got? Yes. Did, did we already search this room last last night or yesterday? I agree with fresh cut grass. I, I feel like we should understand. It, off the it does. <laughs> 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 I'm I'm not certain what our goals are here. I mean, the shade creepers, these creatures that you know. Do people in this city know of them? Are you the only ones that know no, of them? No, people know about them, but I'm telling you, these ones that we saw, uh, they're not like the other Shade Creepers. Yes, it's that, right? They're not yeah, you the haven't, they were, you've, what you know of them and heard around, they're, they're a, a nuisance, almost like a, like a fey myth of, of thieves that come in the night. Um, some people use them in, as a way to scare children, but rarely are they ever seen. Um, this is the first time you've ever. I mean, like, and they exist in other places in, in the world and in, in Marquette as well. But uh, what you battled the other night was a whole different experience. Yeah, these are special ones. The hole must have been where they came from. Well, it also seemed like the dwarf had some sort of control. Yeah, okay. absolutely. And and finding finding that entity is is probably more important than finding. His little minions, right? Right. I just thought maybe if we find the minions, we, we find the him. the master. Possibly. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, possibly. Do we know much about? Uh, you know the 
where the dwarf, like, are there other dwarves like him here? Well, you, so we swept this area, right? I mean, we did, can look Did y'all look at the area where you found Bertrand's body to see if there was any clues or? or... Yeah, I searched pretty extensively. Okay. Did we look for like footprints leading away or anything? Yes. And Lord Est- Estro said that he was going to ask around, right? But we don't know what that's going to bring us. Yeah, I mean, that's really all we've got is, is him and these creepers. And the fact that somebody also made living furniture yesterday, which may or may, or two days ago, which may or may not be related. Yeah. Yeah. And we saw the dwarf. He jumped out of the balcony and fled on foot. So we know he had to. We didn't see him go. Yeah. He just jumped it, over the balcony. Because it didn't. He might have jumped up onto the, the roof. So, like you said, it didn't feel like he could fit in the hole, right? He was a, he had a good chance of getting stuck in there. It's a pretty wide, you know, dwarves are pretty stocky, and this guy was thin for a dwarf, but still a, a dwarven structure. Like, you got a good look at his face, like pale, kind of gaunt, um, kind of a, a patchy beard. Um, not like, not like Udumon dwarf, like? No, no, okay. no. And like, I think maybe he could have fit down the, the, the burrowed hole, but not in through the walls. Like, I, Vernon and I could barely get through there. Maybe we just do a little bit of a perimeter search yeah, around I'm going to go out onto the balcony and look up how high is it to get up onto the, the roof from here. There is a third floor above, oh. and so oh. it, it, would, it would be a bit of climbing past a third floor. Is and then there another set of balconies above? There or is, is it? yeah. What's the room yeah, above? Yeah, maybe we go and look at the room above. If you want to. See if anybody's staying on that in well, that room. They do that, I'll go down. Down where? Oh, to the Out, alley? Outside of the alley. Sure. I'm going to check. I'm, I'm going to help you. All right. <clears throat> okay. okay. Ashton, is there any, like, is there anyone who might know, anyone in town who might know more about, like, that type of entity or that's, person? I mean, that's getting out of my wheelhouse, to be honest. I'm. If, if it gets to it, we can, I mean, I know how to get in contact with unscrupulous people, but oh. I don't know if they're going to know anything about any of this anyway. Okay. Well, that's good to know. We saw him know. jump. We know he went to the balcony, right? Yeah, but we don't know up We don't down. know if he went. Okay. okay so you two are going down to the street. Yeah, check the perimeter. If anyone else wants to join. Are your sure. shoes good? I can't remember. Are they, Liam asking, are they limitless or is it? Uh, yes. Yeah. But I'm okay. Not great at it sometimes. Okay. Yeah, they're not reliable, but they're limitless. Yeah. yeah. Took me a second. I saw you so short. <clears throat> All shoes are limitless. <laughs> well, I can get up there. Out. You can get up there. You can bring somebody up there. It's at least three of us. I'll come with. Okay. Need, need some help? You want to hitch a ride? Sure. Okay. What are you going to do? Um, There is a limit. Up there is, oh, there, there it, is. It's four hours oh, total well, he, throughout a day. Yeah, um, oh yeah, that time limit. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you're still within that, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. You coming with us? We'll come with you. Okay, okay. Ashton go. down, FCG up. All right. Dorian up, yep. I'm up. Right. You're up. You get yourself up? No, but I'm the one that thought of it. Sure, <laughs> sure. Um, well, you can just, Take two quick trips. Yeah. Yeah. trips. All right. Uh, I'll grab you like a little teddy bear and float on up. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> All right. One by one, you managed to get your your team up onto the what? was it the roof what? or the <clears throat> next balcony? We'll what do you start think? start balcony probably. Okay. Those, the the patrol creatures that we encountered the first night on the warehouse. Um, the Simurg? The Simurgs. The Simurgs. Are they out all the time? Like, uh, they generally, out yes. They're, and, mm. I mean, they're not like directly above every building, but they're, there are, at any given point in time, somewhere between 20 to 40, Jeez. just in the skies above the Rusar, across all spires. <clears throat> kind of just doing patrols in the air, keeping eyes for any sort of scuffles or issues. Well, I'm technically trespassing right now, so I suppose oh. we should be careful. Oh, okay. We'll look around real fast and see if anything looks out of out of the ordinary, or it looks like somebody maybe jumped up and ran, or any of the the. Is it shingles on the roof? Is it? I don't know how. What kind of rooftop? This you is. haven't gotten to the roof yet, but if you want to, oh. say we're just in the balcony. Oh, we're on the balcony. Third balcony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. For some, oh, yes. Okay. Is anyone that in that sense. room that we're now creeping on the outside check. of the? Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Natural one. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to tell. The the, the curtains are currently drawn <laughs> the over. Are drawn. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Then we'll just go straight up. We'll be quiet on the balcony and we'll keep going up. Okay. I understand if you want to. <laughs> I like it. I, like yeah. a I, have a, I have a question. <laughs> yeah. When we went into the walled area, mm -hmm. was it was it open? Like, could there have been other rooms that we could have visited? Matt, one one lick for yes and two for no. That makes it weird. That's why. No, um, I mean, you, there were, you could continue to the right and left like, in the middle of the wall area, but there were no other entrances or exits that you okay. could see. It was just, just a, a, a tight in between space between the What are we talking about again? Nothing. I don't know. No. Crawl space. Uh, we were, we were, we were <laughs> in the crawl space. Crawl Indeed. spaces. Uh, but are you so That's at the balcony? Good. Yes. Anything you want to do at the balcony or continue onward? Uh, I think we wanted to get rooftop. Okay. So you get up to the roof at that point. I mean, um, unless we see like footprints on the, the rail of the balcony. Do we see footprints? You do not on see the... footprints on the rail of the balcony. Getting up onto the roof. Oh, Pardon me. Oh. Um there. There aren't necessarily shingles on this rooftop. Uh, it looks like it is instead kind of a, a raised wall barrier of just con continued plaster-like material, and over the lip beyond there, there is a slight kind of almost like a, like a dome shape at the top, um, and once again, just covered in bird shit, um, some earth shit, and everything else that flies up there. Smart. But let's look around, see if we can see any uh, disturbances Trash or, or something. yeah. yeah. Well, uh, one, one of you can, uh, at least two of you can make investigation or perception checks, your choice, that are oh, on the roof. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wait, I'll, real good I'll guide you. Will you? Okay. You'll be guided. <laughs> bird shit, bird shit, bird shit. Smirk shit, smirk shit, smirk shit. Is somebody else going to get one as well? Or? It's kind of oh, I will also look if you 19. don't want to. It looks like he's you got it. You guide yourself? Well, I didn't. 14. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looking. Around the lip of this space, the first thing that catches your eye, and you both see this, is uh, right ar not too far from where you, where your balcony was, you can see foot like footsteps, Ooh. like recent ones that have kind of pushed through some of the fresher bird poop, um, and based on the the gate and the scrape of it, only because you rolled pretty decently on that. Uh, it looks fairly recent. Mm -hmm. That's as much as you can make from it. You're uncertain if it was this person's boots or somebody else was escaping to the roof or excited to rush off across it, but yeah, and some, did, someone and, was up here. And did the, do the tracks just continue on, or do they walk, 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 and then stop because they got lifted up and carried away by a bird? Uh, no, you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you don't. It's, it's not like they kept making tracks. You just see a couple of one. Like, 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 like two or three footfalls that kind of like pushed and scraped into where it was once like a, like a dried bed of, of just white, uh, and you can see where kind of the, someone was pushing off hard, and as they did, it kind of scraped past, and that's where it left the marking. But then you see a direction. Yeah, okay. you see a direction which is just towards the other side of the roof. Uh, if we go across the roof, yeah, is there anywhere it could they could have jumped to? Uh, you look on the other side, and there is a, uh, a series of long pipes that are part of the, the rain drainage that can continue off either corner. And then looking over the top, you can look down into a few other balconies and the very front of the tavern that, and that continues into the main street. And you see people walking past, and carts, and business folk. The, the city is alive before you three stories down. How close is the nearest rooftop in that direction? Um, in that direction? Yeah. It would probably be about fifteen or so feet. Fifteen. Pretty, pretty 10, far. Ten to fifteen. Ten to fifteen. Um, Orem heads fifteen feet back, oh and then boy. you see him go, boop, 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 and he leaps across uh, to the other roof. I can, with a running start, do a fifteen-foot long jump. Yes, you can. Are you fucking kidding me with this guy? <laughs> Just make an oh. athletics check for me. Cool. Sure. Oh, I said one, but I'm a halfling. Oh. <laughs> and it's a 20. Oh, oh my god. I love it. Like you can you can make the jump. This was this was this is more about the grace of the landing. Yeah. Uh, and this 
Like, this is full on, you know, Captain America, like, shield down, Whatever. catch yourself on the opposite side it's and more stand of a up. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah, so look in this other room. Okay. Um, I want to see if I see those footprints pick up on this side. Okay. Make another perception check. Oh, not good at all. That is just a nine. No sign of any further tracks, no direction. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess we're going to head back. We know we went up. Yeah, that's all we know. We just yeah. know we were looking in the wrong direction, basically. Sure. Maybe we should tell the others so they don't waste yeah. time? Yeah. The rest of you, what are you doing? Looking, looking for signs. Can we see them on the ground? Uh, make a perception check. Twelve. Oh, oh, sorry. You're on the roof looking down. I'm just, yeah, I'm just looking down to see. If yeah, yeah. You're on the roof. Yeah, you can see them. All right, then I'm gonna just. <laughs> hey, he was on the roof for sure. Hmm. We, were we should head to the roof. roof. No, no, no. Don't come up here. We're it's <laughs> <laughs> it's a dead end. Um, yeah, we should. We'll meet you down there. Or I'm just checked out another roof. But based on the fact that he's doing this, um, I think he didn't find anything. Nothing, nothing disturbed in this alley, nothing nothing weird. Nothing beyond the ordinary. Nobody s sleeping in this alley, anything weird? At the moment, no. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Dorian, can you help us down? Mm, sure. First? Sure. Okay. I just make our way down. Tell them okay. what Imogen told me. You, you regather the base of the back alley behind the weary way. All right. So, not much. We can either go down a super long tunnel of doom or go talk to somebody else. Did it look like he just jumped off of the roof? Or uh, well, is there anything we could follow here on the ground? Well, there are these two drainage pipes that he could have slid down, potentially. But to the front of the building. Right, the front sides of the building, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He did rent a room here. Mm -hmm. He was in the room. Did, do you think he rented the room that we were? Sure. I mean, someone had to rent the room, so we could go ask the proprietor if they know who it was who rented the room. He wouldn't I mean, use a real name. Yeah. I've heard or, crazier idea. At least we would even have a fake name, which is better than no name. That's true. Or we could just how go we, how back we... to Astros. Feels like we either. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say steal the steal the logbook, or at least make a bit of a distraction while one of us takes a peek. Sure, or we can ask him if it doesn't work, then we steal the logbook. Yeah. Does, yeah. Does, does no one bribe anymore? Is that just a thing that fell out of fashion where you just bribe somebody? <laughs> oh. That's just that. Isn't that just the easiest way for everybody? You do have two hundred extra gold. Why don't you show us how that works? <laughs> Do I know? Kamala, the maven. Do I know Kamala? Uh, Kamala you, Kamala, 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 Kamala the maven. I mean, not like, like very well, but you've you've been a patron here before and probably gotten a scuffle or two in the past. Do I know? Is this where you guys were playing cards? Whether I'm hot or cold on on on, on this particular person's. Uh, the, do, do I do I, am I am I a nice sight or or a, or a, an ill omen to this? They person? seem to appreciate a bit of boisterousness. And okay. the weary way is known to be a little rough and tumble, especially you know this part of the lantern <laughs> spire. So you're not you're not on on the Maven shit list. What what uh, what room was that? What were we uh, just in? What was the? Oh right, we I would there. have totally we would remembered have remember the number. So straight yeah. through. Yeah. I'll just say it's it's ten. Ten. Sure. <laughs> it's room ten. <laughs> Would you like company, or do you want to go alone? Let me, let me try. Well, let me try this alone. Let's see sure. what happens. All right, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk in, go we'll straight right to here. the bar. Okay, you can see that uh, the, the Maven is currently in conversation with her patron and kind of glances over as you approach and say, "Hey there, can I get you something?" Ah, oh, Kamal, Kamal, right? Kamal, uh, Kamal, uh, Kamal. Yeah. I'm, great I'm normally great really <laughs> a little drunk when I when I'm here. I need a favor. Mm -hmm. So, friends and I kind of got into, well, I would say it was a scuffle, but it was more like somebody kind of 
jumped us last night. It was not a, it was not pretty. It did not go well. Um, this person was staying in this establishment. Huh. And I was hoping that maybe very quietly I could just get a name and I could make sure that whatever conversation I have to have with this person, once I know who they are, happens far away from here. I'm sorry, I'll come back here in a minute. I gotta have a conversation here. So there's 10 here. gold over. Honey, I've, I'm extremely appreciative, but I run a very stern business here. I'm going to grab 10 more gold. <laughs> it's 20. Make a persuasion check with advantage for the second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is not my forte, <laughs> so let's see how this goes. Sounds like fun. Uh, oh, wow! 17, which hey. for me is amazing. Okay. That's amazing! Yeah. Uh, well, let's just say, uh, depending on what room they were staying in, I might have some information. I don't like other patrons being uh, brought untoward violence. Might have been a dwarf. Might have been a bit of a problem in the last couple days. Right, we heard noises, and there's some busted up furniture in that room last night. They uh, they hurt one of my people real bad. Real bad. All right, yeah. I think I know the creep you're talking about. Weird looking fella. Yeah. Uh, kind of pasty, clammy skin. Very pasty. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, Brimey! Yes! <laughs> they learned as the answer. Duggar. Duggar is the name. Duggar. Wait, what was it? What? Wait, what was it? Duggar. Duggar. Dugger? That's all I got in the book here. Yeah, I've been, been renting that room out for uh, about a month now. Ooh. Ooh. Off and on, they're not there often, but they've been paying steady. Well, I should warn you, <laughs> they were making a little noise about having like a s secret hide hideaway in there. I think they might have been stashing something a little illegal. I don't know what, I'm not into that, clearly. Well, but I'm going to go ahead and have a look at that. Just letting you know, and I promise the next time I come here, I'm going to get so drunk that I pass out before I break anything. Thank you. Mm. Appreciate your patience. Yes! Kind of goes and, and, and takes the uh, this kind of bar towel and starts wiping the counter, and then this does sweeps the rest of the money off to the side into a pouch awesome. and keeps cleaning up. I'm going to skip outside. <laughs> I fucking got it! It worked. Yeah! We learned something here today. Oh, no, it's just, oh man. What happened? I was, I, I did it, I was like, I put the money out, got the name, got a little bit of like, of like, <laughs> like flavor to How it, it was great. It? What did you say? I was like. Just relive the whole moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, more money, more money. Yeah. I don't know, it was really cool about it though. It did, I did have to, I, I doubled the money. That was really cool. Oh, cool, yeah, cool, really cool. cool. Much, that that would have been really impressive to see. 20, 20 gold. 20 gold. Ooh. Did you get to do that like? The cool push. I did, I did, a, I did the, oh, the second so time, cool. I, did, I did the push. It was really cool. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah. That's nice. uh, I was, yeah, I was. was uh, What'd you get? Oh, fuck, hold on. <laughs> Duggar, 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 Duggar. Wait, don't say it so loud. Duggar, Duggar. Yeah, apparently been staying there for like a month on and off. So I think he'd been maybe using that little tunnel to like meet with with his creepy, creepy, shadowy fucking things. If he was sitting here on and off. On and off. I wonder if he had other drop points and other rooms that he would rent at other taverns across the street. Maybe. Trisar. And we know that he was he was uh, compelling uh, Danis to get stuff for him, right? Yes. This broomstone stuff. Yes. And that, that stuff is serious. Like, that's no fucking around. So for the last month or so, he's been coordinating to get smuggle in illegal broomstone powder or something. We, and then also coordinating with cre strange little creepy things. We, we don't we don't know if there's any connection to the Ivory Syndicate for this yet, do we? You do not. Okay. That would that would be a line of of in, in query and investigation. Yeah, that's <laughs> like I just like this. This is like a lot of intense shit. So well, it seems quite unlikely that Dennis was their only contact. source and contact. They must have others and. This has to be a whole operation, right? That area that the um, textiles warehouse was in, um, that's like a factory area, right? Or like a warehouse area? It's an industrial space, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It must have been some sort of important operation, important enough to kill Bertrand for it. If it was just petty theft or smuggling. And Dennis, they killed both of them. <sighs> Your turn soon. Mm. Well, we could ask around about the name Duggar, or we could ask around about like who might be interested in buying or selling Broomstone. Broomstone? Mm. Or Why would more. we be buying Broomstone? Like that's crazy. Like, what? Do they mine Broomstone here? Where do they find it? I would say make a history check. Ooh. And. Don't cheer too loud. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an Ocho eight. Eight. Yeah. You're, you're not that familiar with Broomstone. Like, the, for the most, for most of you, the, the only thing you know is that Broomstone is carefully lauded and controlled by the Alsfarin Union. Alsfarin Union. Mm -hmm. is, the guild, is it a guild out of Ankarel? Oh. That is the only place that builds skyships in Exandria. What is it called again? The Alsfarin Union. But you're uncertain about the sourcing. Like you, you don't recall or have experienced any or come across any information about how the broomstone is gathered, where it's gathered, how much there is. Like you, but you just know you've only really seen it. As part of a skyship construction. Well, they must have uh, union representatives here, right? Maybe if we go to the Airy Spire. I hate to say. Oh, that's where they land, right? Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of loose ideas here, but it really feels like we're in over our heads. We could take this name to Lord Esteros. Mm -hmm. I would think Esteros is our our best bet at the moment. He's the head of the. Birdies out. Yeah. Maybe they found something by now. All right. I think so I have a good feeling about him. I don't mind, you know, taking him in confidence. He seems earnest and sad. Yeah, lonely for sure. Yeah. Great baker. Pretty good. The so frosting. The frosting made was really a big difference. It made a big difference. Yeah. I don't know, maybe see what leads he can throw our way and then we keep our eyes and ears open for all these things that we're talking about but we don't really know how to pursue. Yeah, maybe on the way back to Lord Estros's place, any taverns or inn we see, any inns, let's just go ask if uh, Duggar's, Duggar's staying there. there. I like okay. that. Not bad. Okay, so with, with a description and a name, you begin to journey back towards the Estros estate with the intent of seeing what threads can be plucked and as you begin your journey that direction, we're going to take a break. Yay! It is time for that. Uh, we'll be back here in a few minutes to see where this investigation leads. See you shortly. <gasps> Ashton with the brown.
Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role Shop. This holiday season, give the gift of effortless style. <gasps> Could anything be more perfect? Oh, so comfy cozy. Style should never be a dumpster, darling. These holidays, you know, they're just around the corner. You need this? You probably need this. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. doing this right or oh sorry um am i doing this right you can also gift subscriptions to fellow critters so what are you waiting for start spreading that sweet serenity with a twitch subscription to critical role it's like a warm blanket oh, oh, hold on. it's my proctologist just give me a second okay hello hello, hello? Oh, hey, hey, Doc, yeah, what, what's up? What do you mean, more teeth? I thought you got rid of them all. Well, no, don't tell me to relax. I'm the one with teeth up my... Subscribe.
and welcome back. <laughs> so, friends, you have some leads. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And you mentioned as you were heading off towards uh, the Estros Manor uh, estate, you were looking to possibly stop in a few places. Oh yeah, any yeah. taverns or inns we see along the way, just to go in and ask if. Uh, okay. Yeah. Don't um, know what's there. Well, the one that's closest to you is the Weary Way. Well, yes. I'm gonna take that one out. <laughs> okay. Uh, I would say beyond that point, probably getting to the core spire. Along the way, the next one would be the spire by fire. Yeah. Uh, How convenient. Which is the path you guys? You guys are like jumping between these two spaces, between the two spires, <laughs> yeah. and so you're just going to hit the same places <laughs> often. <laughs> Uh, haven't done too much wandering throughout the city yet, um, but yeah. So, who who would like to helm the process of, of asking around? Um, Who's good at this? Do we bribe again? You're, you're, I could go you're in. You're a charming sword. No, are you? He's very charming. Can be, I suppose. Shall we? Yeah. We go in together. You and I. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm pretty good at knowing. I'm, I'm pretty good at talking. You're pretty good at knowing. So, I, so I shall I be the talker? You can be the talker. I'm with talker, is that right? Sure. I'm scared immediately. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. You guys going in solo, or are you, uh, is everyone going in? It's up to you. I'll stay outside. Same. I'm going to stay out. Maybe it's just less of a. Conspicuous. <laughs> yeah. That's not what I want. <laughs> All right. To do. Exactly. <laughs> weird. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the two of you head into the Spire by Fire. Um, how do you go about inquiring? Asking questions around, approaching? Who, what, what do you do? What do you normally do? Normally do? Well, don't you like have people you talk to in these establishments? Uh, I, I, I don't spend a lot of time in taverns. We've been on the road for a long time. It's usually best to find someone who um, wants a little bit of coin. Uh, but not necessarily a bribe, but People don't just give up information for free. All right, you talk to someone who wouldn't normally give up information for free, and I'll talk to the barkeep. So we'll split up? Sure, ask around. Okay, sure. Um, and I'll start very uncasually milling about oh. the bar like a bad patron. In, my, in his head, he's just gonna hear, I can tell you're very good at talking to people. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you would like to, go ahead and roll a persuasion check through like general rabble rousing throughout to see if you find somebody that might. As supposed to role playing, talking to every patron in the bar. Uh, ten. Ten. Okay. Uh, so, what, what what information do you drop as you begin to ask around? <clears throat> I have to talk too loud. Oh, 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 Dugger, you old dog. <laughs> Can't believe you've jilted me again. <laughs> well, look around. Make and a see perception if check. <laughs> <laughs> hey, eighteen. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Finally, oh. come on. As you say the, the name Duggar, nobody seems to pay much mind, but you do see uh, one kind of scrappy, young-looking. Uh, this would be a, a, a tiefling with kind of a. a a dull, kind of blue-gray skin. Humanoid, but with these kind of horns that kind of curl out of the front of the brow and off to the sides a bit. Um, they have kind of a, a messy brown hair that goes just past the ears and the shoulder, and they kind of sit there, they kind of look over at you with just a glance of recognition, and then when they notice you looking, they just kind of like, go back to their drink. I'll, uh, I'll wa saunter over there and I'll, I'll swipe like a, a half drunk tankard off of a table and walk up and be like, hello, how are you doing this evening? <laughs> um, I'm okay. Okay, aren't we all? <laughs> Is, are you by yourself tonight? <laughs> Why are you asking? I'm new in town, just sort of sightseeing, looking for some company. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> okay. Takes a sip. Slide into the booth. So, um, you know, I, as I've been in town, I've been gambling a little bit, and um, 
a few nights ago, I met this, uh, this dwarvish guy. He was very funny and uh, he, a little, a little creepy when I first met him. But we started playing cards, and then the next thing I knew, while he's doing this, I'm gonna cast detect thoughts on this person. Okay. Ooh. That is not a success. So the next thing I knew, uh, I'd won a few hands, and then uh, maybe I was a few cups too deep, and I turned around and they were gone. Just gone, <laughs> jilted me on my bet. Now, I'm not a local, but I know that's bad form. And it was somewhere in a bar around here. Have you ever heard of the name of, of, of someone like that named Duggar by any chance? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm the dogger. I mean, he's always been kind of an abrasive shit, but you know, it's always down to gamble a bit and had a decent sense of humor. So, uh, I haven't seen much of him as of late, which is for the best. You know, he's fallen into some tough times from the look of it. From the look of it? What do you mean? Well, he wasn't always this creepy, weird look. He's kind of fucking. Wasting away, pasty, damp look to him. I like, didn't always look like that. Recently, uh, this this look, this pasty look, it's just something that you noticed quickly. Yeah, it just looked look, look like a normal dwarf before that, and then, I don't know. Just looking over you curiously. Make another persuasion check. Oh, fuck. Feel, feel it going south. Am I catching anything? Am I catching anything? <laughs> <laughs> Baby boo, that's a one. Oh, oh. oh. no, poo poos. Oh, so you, you watch as initially this kind of like open physicality begins to tighten up a bit. Yes. Yeah, he's just he's just weird now. Probably, you know, maybe sick. Who knows? In your head, Dorian, you're just going to hear. Maybe ask him if he knows where he's been staying. Uh, with your powers, can I answer back? <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing him. Just ask. You don't have a lot of coin. You don't happen to know where he's staying by any chance, do you? No, I haven't seen him around in quite a while. Are you sure? And I'm gonna slap my hand on top of his, on the or theirs, <laughs> in the tankard, and I'm gonna cast Charm Person. Oh! oh. oh. Here we go. Uh, so that, that was. 13? Well, no, they roll. Oh, yeah. Second yeah. throw on you. They failed. Oh. Oh. And so, so yes. this immediately closed off, and then he watches you put your hand down, and they like it out. begin to pull back. And then there's this moment where the, the pupils dilate massively and then re correct, and that intense look of like, get the fuck away from me becomes this bright smile. You know, I hate. And you're like you've been during this conversation, yeah. been reading up on this too. Initially, a lot of the thoughts were, "Who the fuck is this guy? Why are they asking? Doug is a fucking weirdo. I barely, I like, I'm seen him in a while. Uh, what did he do? I'm not part of this. It was very much like a protective. I don't want to get into trouble if he's in trouble, type of scenario. And then, as you begin to delve deeper, the spell takes effect, and both of you, he is an open book at this point. He just goes. Yeah, no, I mean, the transition started about six months ago, I'd say, you know? Yeah, he was a carpenter years ago, but he closed up shop and he'd been making decent money for the past couple of years without his business, which, you know, means he's probably up to not good. If I'm to be honest, I think my guess is he's probably running with, uh, I don't know, Syndicate seems to be a bit, a bit too, uh, too out of his space. I'd say maybe the... Mm. The Hubakas Corsairs is likely. Oh, what was that again? I, I missed that. I'm sorry, it's so loud in here. The Hubak Corsairs. Oh, and who are they again? I'm... <laughs> they're a they're a tough and up and coming crew of ruffians and thieves. Uh, I just wouldn't say competition to the uh, to the uh, syndicate, but they're um they tend to focus on the Mahan and the shitty guild leaders and you know guildmongers. So uh, power to them, I say. <laughs> I'm gonna steal from the rich and redistribute. I ain't gonna right, get in that way. Right, we hate the rich, don't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Horrible. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> Does he know where the guild so is, uh, where the Corsairs are staying? Are you saying that to me? Into your head, yes. <clears throat> Do you know where the. Uh, you seem to know a lot, by the way. Well, I just pick up things here and there. I'm so sorry, remind me of your name again. 
goes ahead and like gives you a, a, a squeeze of the hand as you have the hand on top. Janiah. 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 Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you did, Dorian, this is all you hear in your head. Whatever you did, it is fucking working. <clears throat> um, one last thing, one last thing. You've been so helpful. Yeah, yeah, um, of course, anything. Do you know of anything, a substance or something that would make a man like that living a normal life sort of wither away? Oh, there's plenty of substances that can do that, so you know. Mm. Uh, the person I used to run with years ago got heavy into the brown suit and just withered away. But you know, there's 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 all sorts of things, bad stuff you can get mixed up in, and just you know takes over, mm-hmm. runs you away. Right, right. I don't get involved with any of that stuff. <laughs> I got my uh, preferred party favor. And points at the tankard. Oh, I'll cheers him. Yeah. And while I'm cheersing him in my brain, I'm going, I'm running out of script. Is there anything <laughs> else we want to know? Maybe if he knows. Um... If uh, Duggar had any connection to Brimstone, that's a really st- a big stretch, but maybe. Brimstone, all right, all right, I'll try to work it in, I guess. It doesn't have to be subtle, he loves you right now. All right. Hey, what if I said one word to you? Ready? Guess what it is, guess what it is. <laughs> yes. Brimstone. <gasps> <laughs> okay, not what I was expecting. <laughs> What is it? Oh, you're asking me. I, yeah. Am I getting it? And like he knows nothing, right? He has no idea what it's the fuck we're doing. Dory is totally blank. He's totally blank. He's got no. But idea. it's but it's just deeply invested. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> what's it mean? Is it? Oh. Uh, is that is that is that common? Is that no, no, is that a different language? Oh, it's uh, uh <laughs> it's uh, primordial. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm empty. Do you want anything? How's your How's your cup? Yeah. Fill me up. All right, I'll be right back. Masterclass. Boomstone. I say we get out while we can. Uh, yeah. before, before they notice. Sure, let's go. Let's go back. I mean, unless mm. it seemed like we were running them dry. That's about it. Yeah. All right. Uh, no, 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 just ghost. Oh, just ghost. Okay, okay, okay. Just ghost. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 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 he grabs his drink and begins falling after. Where are you going? Oh, uh, my. We'll be back. We'll be. I'll uh, be. Uh, we'll be. <laughs> we. I will be back. I will be back. That's a promise. <laughs> okay. Well, you know where to find me. Oh. Bye. <laughs> 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 Perfect. Oh, oh hip cord. <laughs> I'm going to end so poorly so soon. Yeah, he's going to be pissed. Yeah. Well, that seemed like a lot of really good information. Oh, I did not think the that would work. The Corsairs mm-hmm. and, and uh, oh, uh, Guild Leader, I don't know why that's all. Yeah, uh, brown suit is some sort of drug, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's a drug or something that could turn you into a creepy person. Mm-hmm. Um, um Jim. Mm, something with germ. Do you remember? You were in my brain. My brain, your brain is better than mine. Jania? Jania. 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 That's right. Uh, should we go tell the others what we found out? Sure. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll fill them all in on the way to mm-hmm. Lord Estros. 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 All righty. You, you return to uh, Estros's estate. Um, are brought into his study once more, and you can see uh, in the side of the room, though a bit macabre, you can see there is a, a blanket, and it looks like Sir Bertrand is being uh, held and cared, uh, having passed. But he's not going to do anything with the body without your approval or permission. He's just kind of keeping watch. Roll over and just sort of touch Bertrand's head, and that's it. Just sort of feel, feel his brow. You've got it. Okay. Are there? Damn question. Yes. Like traditional funeral or like death rituals here in Drusar that we would know about. This is inside the study atmosphere. Um, I mean, it depends on on 
where you're from and who you follow. You know, the various deities have different funeral rites, different cultures have different interpretations of those funeral rites. Um, within Drusar, which is very much, it's one of the two major, uh, like, open skyship nexuses in Marquette between uh, Drusar and Ankarel, uh, everywhere else, and the, the, the few other skyports in this continent are pretty closed off, so because of that, they're both m cultural mixing pots. And this place probably even more than Ankarel. Uh, so there's no definitive or singular right that comes to mind. I mean, he's got this pin on him. You know, he talked about Vox Machina. Maybe we can send him back to, to tell Dore where he, he said he was from. Yeah, to his I don't friends. Know, Lord Estros, is it possible to send a body? He's currently like, he has a small stack of books off to the side that he hasn't touched in a little bit, and he's going over some notes and he has his glasses. He goes, uh, If you think that would be best, we can uh, certainly arrange for him to be transported, yes. I wish there was a way we could tell them that he's coming. Uh, we don't even know where to send it or who to send it to. Maybe it's easier to just send his personal effects back and. But I, we still would need somewhere to send. Well, yeah. if that pin on his chest is legit, there are a few places to send him. We could send him to, if you have the means. Uh, the Prudage estate does hold specifically a skyship. I have it at my disposal. Or I will when it returns, but it can be arranged. I could either send him to Whitestone. Mm. Or to Zephyr. Both back in Taldori. Hmm. Is Zephyr where you're from? Hmm. Why and you think he would someone there would care for the Body? Well, the symbol on his chest. You know, he's he's a colorful guy. I didn't know what to make of it, but he's wearing a symbol connected to people in Whitestone and and where I'm from. What if it's a fake? Bertrand did like to tell tall tales. That's what I'm saying. Mm. But it's either that or we decide and do something here. I don't know either. I don't know. I don't think any of us know him well enough to know what his wishes would be. Well, he was I mean, quite the adventurer. With the dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just kidding. If you are inquiring about the legitimacy of his claims, mm -hmm. uh, as I do with everyone I do business with, I look in to see what their history might have. Not terribly deep for each of you so far. Mostly. But I can say that there was a thread of truth, the extent of which I'm uncertain, but their paths have crossed before. So if it brings peace of mind, at the very least, I think he will be recognized. Well, Whitestone has always been a friend to the dead. Okay. And lots of tombs, mm -hmm. you could have a proper bur burial, I mean. Well, that sounds I nice. Don't know. Sure. sure, Whitestone. But like, dear Whitestone, here's a body. I hope yeah. you know what to do with it, sort it's of thing. It's actually a really nice card, I would be very impressed. <laughs> I would be honored to have that. Would it be like yeah, a so card with like a, a setup and a, a, like a punchline inside? Yeah, how do we know who he is? I it to you, like just to write it to, as a corpse. to VM, to... No, if we're going to Whitestone, it would be the Lord and Lady of Whitestone, and we would, I guess, send a message saying that we have a wayward member of Vox Machina. Unless you think it would be better in Zephra. It seems like you have a higher connection there. That's true, although I don't know that it's better, per se, but... I heard the person that's in charge of Zephra is not very powerful. She's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> easy. Easy, easy. 
<laughs> I heard the person in charge of Wildstone is way more powerful than the person in charge of Wildstone. <laughs> That's just what I heard <laughs> through the grapevine. <laughs> This isn't even metagaming, and I don't know what this is. <laughs> Listen, we're inceptioning at this point. Please stop. And nosebleed. Well, in, in, this, in this instance, I think I think Whitestone is the way to go. I was gonna say the same. If he truly oh, do you, is, do you know these places too? No, but I I we went to Zephra with Orum. Oh, and I mean. I think they would know what to do with him there, but I don't know if he has any connection there. What were you going to say? I don't know much about lords and ladies, but he is Sir Bertrand Bell, a knight. He would be known. That's true. That is true. I wonder Whitestone if he too. was. Sure. Was he a knight of, of Whitestone? Not what I heard of. Oh, he deserves a knight's burial. Regardless. I will have the papers written up oh, and upon the... Oh, that's way better than me right now. <laughs> Unless you would wish No, to. no, 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 you are mm. way better at this, I'm sure. And when our skyship returns from its rounds, I will send him to friends. Other business. You've come here for other reasons, I assume? Yes. Yes. I think that, well, we're still really concerned about trouble coming back to bite all of us in the butt. But, 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 we've discovered a name, a lead. How are you? Yes. You two know? Well, we, we discovered uh, that his name is Duggar. Duggar. Yes, and? Uh, used to be a, Commoner, carpenter, and um, M much different than he is now. For the last six months, he's been um, wasting away, becoming darker, uh, separating himself from people that he once knew. Hmm. He was real creepy. So you continue to tell me? Yeah, pasty and damp, but not in like you know a good way, in like a in a creepy way. And you said that he had an association yes. with the... Uh, the uh, Hugh Hugh Ball Corsairs. Corsairs? Yes. Do you have a particular opinion on that, on that group, of, group of people? I do. Share. To be honest, I have been wanting to try and reach out to them. Partially to get a read on their personnel and their, well, Starwardness in the message that comes to my ears about their work. They seem to be driven against similar corruption in some ways as I am, and what they steal from what at least has come known to me is often gifted to the less fortunate of Drusar and the wilds beyond, which I find Amusing, and it gives me faith that perhaps they are not in the same league of misuse and abuse that other such individuals might be. But those are just the myths and tales I hear spread amongst the streets. I do not know their true business or how dark it may be. This group being particularly violent before? Oh, there is violence where there is theft, but if they are bringing violence to the innocent, they are very good at keeping it hidden. Whereas the syndicate seems to run with impunity. Hmm. What I do know is the syndicate and the Corsairs are very much not allied. And a lot of the violence that I have heard of has usually been when the two overlap. Whether intentional or not. Well, I think we don't want to wait for our lives to, to be over. Oh, God. That's, That's my coming. point exactly. <laughs> for trouble to come find us. Agreed. We'd rather figure it out <clears throat> proactively. And I think we all understand that we need your help to do that. I might be of service. 
Who do you know? Who are you trying to contact? I have not been trying to contact, but I have had emissaries I have hired to look into it. Hmm. Either they did not return because the amount I offered was not worth the work or danger they perceived, perhaps, or they were paid off to not return. Because when a powerful lord, such as myself, an individual of means, is not perceived in the best light by their values, I cannot blame them for wanting to not um, reciprocate my attempts at communication. Do you know where the Corsairs are located? I do not, because if I did, surely so would their enemies. Mm. But my profile is much higher than yours, mm. and the people I have to work with at times are uh, strange bedfellows with perhaps not hearts as strong as yours. I can continue to look and ask around, but I cannot say I would fare any better with my distant means than you would directly, but I will try. My, I don't know, it might not be a good idea for you to continue to reach out in that way. Mm. If they are made up of desperate people who are on the fringes of society, then maybe we should start at the fringes of society. Fair enough. If you do find any individual who belongs to the Corsairs, be careful. And if somehow in the future you gain the trust or respect of one, Maybe speak well of me. I'm eager to expand the influence of what good we're trying to do. It is difficult to do so from inside this house. So, the more like-minded individuals I can connect with, the better. And aside from just wandering around and asking at taverns, is there any specific place you think we should start our uh, asking around? If indeed you are looking for where the riffraff would uh, congregate, well, there is the the hollow. The who, the ha? The hollow. Mm. The Fonsi hollow. Oh, yeah, 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 That's we know that place. There is also Elder's Post. Is that just a, like a guild hall or something? It is a um, collection of tunnels deep within the Lantern Spire where many, many individuals go and set up shop or homesteads temporarily. It's a bit shifty. How deep is it? In, that's where we were, right? The Lantern Spire? Mm -hmm. How deep down does it go? Not terribly deep. The tunnels that lead to it are surface level and maybe a hundred feet or so below that mm -hmm. if you follow the curvatures, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's mostly shopping. <clears throat> so, Fancy Hollow, Elder's Post. Any place else, or is that about it? I would say begin there. Those are the, well, if you want to go to the steps of Dusar outside of the city, that is where you will find a whole different spectrum of individuals. Those who have either wished to free themselves of the confines and chains of the city's business-based prerogatives, or um, the outcasts, who are no longer allowed within the city's halls. That's what we passed through on the way, the way into town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they didn't seem very friendly to roamers, no. It's been a big help, thank you. Of course. Remember, please, stay together until this is sorted out. Can I do an insight check? Ooh. <clears throat> to which regard? 
Just if he's being sincere in his concern for you us. You may, go ahead and make a. Yeah, I was distracted by this, and I got a one. Oh, I thought you were a professional. <laughs> <laughs> My dice was distracted by that. His his general nature is pretty guarded, and it's hard to see past his his walled exterior. His face gives very little micro emotion. Lord right. Ross, I I have one question that's been bothering me. This. Dug a person who killed our friend and killed your associate, stole from you, extorted an innocent person. Would they really be a part of a group that steals from the rich and gives to the poor? Something doesn't fit for me. It is not for me either. It could be that they're not. It could be that their intent is kept secret from associates. Could be they are no longer a part of it. There are many possibilities, but this information is new to me as well. Thank you. Of course. I actually have a question that maybe you might know. Yes. Um, do you, do you happen to know what they mine in this smolder spire? They mine all number of things. Precious metals, fuels for lanterns and oils, uh, anything that can be mined from the grounds of Exandria or pulled from the spire and beneath. One word. Broomstone? No, no, no. <laughs> Broomstone is uh, taken far off from here. I do not know where. Oh. That is kept by the Osfarin Union directly and guarded jealously for that reason, so. That makes sense. Do you know if they, if there's any mine going, mining going on on this spire? In the core spire? Um, I'm certain there is in small scales, but the, the richest spire when it comes to minerals Materials is the uh, smaller. There are operations here and there, but. Inside check. Go for it. Is he telling us the truth ever? Who knows? 19. Ooh. Mm. Oh. She Ooh. knows. She knows. That's how you ask about Bruce. We're doing a whisper? Right? You have to make that face oh, when whisper. you ask about Bruce. Everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah, from now on. Yeah, yeah we said. Everybody. Uh, Descent. Uh, Descent, Legends in the Dark Rep. is a wonderful fantasy game from Fantasy Flight. It's actually really good. It this, is. Yeah. That box that I held up. It's our copy. It belongs to Matt and Marisha. Yeah. <laughs> they use it. We yeah, don't it drop like it. Ads. I didn't drop it. I build all the terrain carefully. The minis are bananas. <laughs> Seriously. They are. They're like mini bananas. bananas. Seriously, just, yeah. just, just, yeah. just, it's a game about I got to watch descending into a game about my bananas. Pit. <laughs> 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 it was bananas. Um, hmm. It's interesting, is it good? I think, I think he's telling the truth. Okay. Are we still in the house? Or the yeah, we're still in the house. Oh yeah, of yeah. course, that's yeah. why I'm asking you in your head. Oh, what time of day is it right now? Uh, it's midday, though the stars are up and this is more for the fire effect and the darker interior, sure, but yeah. yeah. All right. Very well. Good luck. And if I learn of anything you need. Before we depart, I, I'm sorry. I just, it, I, I just feel like, I just feel like we should say goodbye to Mr. Bell. You know, I mean, I assume you're going to wrap wrap him up or something, or put him away. Or no, something. what you say is true. If you would like to take a moment and give your regards to the deceased before I. Ensure his final destination. I've said my goodbyes already. Well, I'll say something. <clears throat> then I'll just go over next to him and say, um, uh, "Mr. Bell, we didn't know you very long, but um, and you, and you sort of, I felt like you were fibbing a lot to us, but um, you know, 
you brought us all together and that's important. That's something positive. Um, and it seemed like you were out to do good in the world, which is also positive. Um, and so for that, I think we just say thank you. You know, they say that the word goodbye is the hardest word to say, but it's not. Uh, it's Worcestershire. <laughs> That's the hardest word to so say. Oh. Um, so <laughs> goodbye, and we'll always remember you. That was beautiful. That was lovely. Lovely. I'm going to go over to Bertrand, put my hand on him, take out my shears, and just cut a few chunks of his hair off. Tuck it away. It's a very useful substance hair. It can Absolutely. be used for many things. No, it's good. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a part of him. Yeah, yeah. It's, and it's a part of him. Yes. Yes. I'll follow Ladna and I'll put a hand on your shoulder and just kind of lean in and I'll just say, I'm still working on your song. Well, I'll walk over and pull out some extra ribbon, tie it around his wrist with a, <laughs> a an oleander flower. Pop it in. Oh, Birdie. Listen, I, I really didn't trust you. And I heard that you didn't like jazz. <laughs> and jazz is chaos. <laughs> <laughs> and I just. I don't know how you can't love it. But you're an old boy, and... <laughs> maybe wherever you have gone, you have learned to, to love jazz. <laughs> and I, I lean over and kiss him on the forehead. <laughs> Hey, so, uh, I guess in just a couple of days, you will have been gone longer than I knew you. Thanks for the job. <laughs> Wes looks on. So sweet. <laughs> Lord Estrath looks around and goes, You'll be taken care of. Good luck. He really did bring us all together. He did. You're yeah, very, very right true. in that. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite wonderful. It was a gift. Yes. Literally the only thing he did. Literally, <laughs> that was it. Well, I mean, he, he was present in some of our skirmishes. He killed the table. Prove it. Oh, he stabbed you. He stabbed you. He stabbed him. Mm -hmm. that, that, is him. Mm -hmm. yeah. that is being involved in the skirmish. Mm -hmm. yeah, he threw a glass at you. He I did. Saw, he did. He was feisty. He yeah. he bought you all uh, drinks um, um, uh, yes. reluctantly. I wonder you know? what and, happened and to that. And rooms. He gave you. Rooms. It's yeah. also the reason that we're all here now, instead of just bouncing off each other and heading on our own separate ways. I actually don't Without know, Mr. S. Ross, if um, yes, if our tab was paid for because Bertrand put everything on his tab. He left so a mountain of debt. There's no doubt. Well, they are 
more than welcome to find him and make him pay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get out of your hand. Yeah, yeah. All right. I give Bertrand one final pat on his, I don't know, his feet, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. And with that, Evelyn sees you out of the estate. Thank you. Orm lets them all fall out of the room, but he doesn't leave. Okay. Oh. Mm. Lord Estros, may I trouble you for a private word? Certainly. I've come a very long way, and I'm looking for someone. Those people in Whitestone, those people, me and Zephra. People in Zephra. Um, are relying on me to figure a few things out, and I'm looking for someone. And you seem to know a lot of people here, and I've been hesitant to ask. Have you ever worked with anyone named Brescio? Ashad Brescio? Known to some as the Anger? You are an agent of the Ashari, then? Yes, sir who have been sent by Zephra. I have not worked with this bodyguard, but I know of them, and I know the Mahan House that they were assigned. Mahan House. And I assume your business has to do with the attack on the family. I think so, yes. Hmm. What is it you wish with this? Anger. What happened with the family here is reminiscent to something that happened from where I come from. Mm. And I'm just here to see if there's a connection. Very well. <sighs> well, uh... My connections to the Mahan House Loomis, which was the target of the attack, are um, somewhat strained, but not impossible. I will begin seeing what I can do. From what I understand, this Roshad you speak of is still recovering from his wounds. I will inquire, and should you stay safe enough, Perhaps I can arrange something. That is deeply appreciated, and um, I don't need to rush it. We have our hands full here. You do, as well. But it's deeply appreciated both by me and the Ashari, as well. Hmm. Well, it is always good to hold tighter to your allies. New and old. Especially as days grow darker. Well, thank you. I don't want to leave them waiting, I'll head out. Of course. And on the way out, I just sort of um, stopped by Bertrand and thumbed the pendant on his lapel. Safe journey, a sly old fox. All right. Worcestershire. Worcesters? Worcestershire. 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 You're right. And it's so differently than the way you actually say it. Worcestershire. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. Hashtag nailed it. Directly for the Corsairs, it's always been through an intermediary. I wouldn't actually have a direct contact with them. You would not. It w- I would have to go through my normal yeah. system of booking. For the, okay. for, the, for the similar reasons that, you know. I'm not a member of anything. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And, but in fact, what you do know, if all the speak of the Corsairs has been from those who have been arrested and never seen again, or just whispers in the streets. Like, they're considered a mythological faction of only the recent years. They, they're, they're not. A, a large, a uh, long time, you know, uh, installation here in the city. Um, but yeah, they're spoken of in a very kind of Robin Hood sense. Like they're they're 
some folks are like, well, they're they're here to make change, and some folks are like, I don't trust anyone who's going to use, you know, break the law to help us. And there are people who are like, what is you know, what is a law anyway? What you is know, law? What is break? What yeah. does the mean really? Exactly. Yeah. So it's it, there's a lot of discussion. There's a lot of theory, but but it's very much kind of a a, a thing whispered in tavern rooms and in in excited conversation. I'm sure down where I live too. So yeah. I'm going to kind of try and, and corral Fern a little bit uh, while we're waiting for Aurum to, to come out. What's up? Do you think he's talking to Lord Estros? I think he is. And I think it might be our best bet in finding out some information. I think so, too. Aurum knows what he's doing. I trust him. I do, too. I do too. We'll see what he says later. Okay. Having reconvened, the city is yours. What would you like to do? So much. So <laughs> much. So, yeah. so much. First off, uh, sign the replacement coin. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's, it's really not, it's fine. I've seen them hold grudges for months. <laughs> Got the slowly, <laughs> slowly <laughs> taking their revenge in subtle ways that you're not even aware of at the time they happen. All right, I'll sleep with one eye open. Oh, you best have both eyes open. Three if you have them. <laughs> Do you have, now you don't, because you dropped it. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, start at the Elder's Post? <laughs> oh yeah, so Elder's Post is the tunnels. The thing is, Ashton is familiar with the hollow, so. I live in the hollow. We could go there and, I mean, we probably would know more folks there, and that's it would be less true. dangerous. That's a that's a quick jaunt, Although and also Elder's Post has tunnels, which seems pretty convenient. Pretty convenient. Maybe well, somebody in the hollow will know about. They're technically both underground. Oh, uh, it's kind of kind of a thing that happens here a lot when you have these big mountains, and you put enough stuff on the on the top of them that you, there's nowhere to go but in. Hmm. So a lot of stuff gets built inside. Uh, a lot of stuff that uh, doesn't really fucking matter. We can we can go hit up my people real quick and then jaunt over to something a little more, and I do stress this, a little more fucking dangerous, so. Sounds like a good idea to me. I mean, I know we want to find answers, but we also don't want to stumble blindly into the den, so um, we should start with what we know. You should also figure out where the two of us live, so that if you need to find us or crash somewhere that's off the radar, well, you know where to go. Are we gonna stay at Eshteros's place for mm -hmm. now, or? This is, things can happen. Sure, sure, sure. Better that we know that we don't know. Sure. And better to have a, a second location. You always should have a second lo location to go to, just in case. When we first met, didn't you say something about uh, oh, so much has happened to a uh, market? Somewhere we could, shop markets are always good places for information? Or? Well, that will be stop two. So yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you think of the next of the place we go after this. <laughs> Let's go down into the into the crook house. Okay. So you follow, and for many of you, this is your first time entering the the depths of the core spire, the center of it, which is largely hollowed out into a downward wide tunnel. That as you're led through walkways and it drops below, you can see just endless paths of scaffolding and ladders and stairs made of rickety wood and whatever else materials could be found and roped together to create platforms and means of climbing down. And within, it is a an odd vertical uh, kind of tent and cave city of all people, artists and uh, cast-offs to be forgotten to people who prefer to live outside of the light and outside of the law to a certain extent and just worry about themselves. It is just a, a, a wonderful patchwork of odd people that either society has pushed away or they themselves have pushed themselves out of society. Um, no one gives you an odd glance because they're used to it, but as you begin to kind of walk through and following Ashton's uh, guidance, head down, a number of levels of platforms until you come to the outside of this uh, kind of darker building front built into the side of the rock edge of this open descending cavern. There is, you can see a couple of windows put with some uh, very colorful, like bright purple uh, drapery that is kind of pulled along, along the front of one side and a door that, as far as you can tell, looks 
like it might function on the hinges, if not occasionally just kind of lean open at the angle that the whole front's kind of leaning towards. Uh, it's very, very interesting. Are there a lot of people down here? Is it very crowded, or is it? It's not crowded. Most folks kind of stay to their spaces unless they're having to travel in and out. And as such, at any given point in time, you can see a few dozen people climbing at different levels and hear shouts being shouted across. You can see all manner of long banners and and ropes and and uh, bits of just aberrant material that people are using to decorate the interior of this otherwise lightless space that has all manner of magical and oil lanterns and uh, you know things that give these little beads of light, but also create these long shadows that cast like spider webs across the stone walls. Uh, it is unlike anything you've experienced here in the city, let alone probably elsewhere. Um, weirdly welcoming as much as it is oddly terrifying and mysterious. I'm going to take everyone and back to my little chunk of uh, where FCG and I have been uh, crashing for the last few months. Mm -hmm. As you step into the chamber, uh, the first thing you hear is what sounds like metal pushing onto metal and kind of a, a faint grinding sound. And as you kind of, and the rest of you kind of walk in, uh, you can see uh, at this like odd makeshift workbench that looks like it was once a desk that has since been kind of plated with different shades of, of semi-rusted iron over the top of it, and a whole manner of tools that are currently affixed to what looks like a leather tool belt that has been bolted into the wall above it. Um, within this chair, you see a humanoid figure, um, human specifically, uh, currently hunched, facing away from you, and is in the process of doing some sort of business before they stop place one of the tools into one of the slips in the wall, turn around, and you see them uh, smile, they're kind of like uh, smooth beige skin, large glasses, and this kind of cap that's on right now that has a heavy set of like magnifying glasses that are placed right in front that make their eyes massive <laughs> as soon as they spin. Oh, I didn't realize we had guests. Hey, uh, uh, everybody, uh, they're Milo. Hello, Milo. This is Milo. Milo, Hi. this is everybody. I, you know, I told you that I was doing some work with some people. Yeah, are, are these the people? These are the some people. Hi, yeah. people. Hi. Hi, Milo. Hello. Welcome to the Crook House. They might be. Hey, buddy. One hey. Or... How you doing? You fixing something cool? I'm trying. I'm just experimenting with some uh, some smaller critter recreations. Figure uh, figure you know if we're gonna have enough rats here, let's go and make him some friends that uh. <gasps> Can can do some interesting things. Hey, that sounds great. You're making rat friends, more or less. <gasps> do you Who hear are that, you? Pate? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I'm Ladna, and this is Pate de Rolo. Nice to meet you. Your friends are so cool, right? <laughs> I know. I don't know like how it took this long. They come forward immediately and kind of look at it. That that's not entirely a rat. That's a few things. Uh, yes, that is accurate. I can do that, right? It doesn't have to. <gasps> yeah, you can mix and match. What else? I mean, that's the fun in life. That right? is delightfully fucked up. I'm excited. Screw the rats. I want to make a bunch of things in one. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I was an inspiration. You always are. <laughs> just want to make sure that you saw these faces, just so, you know, if you see them wandering around, if something goes wrong, you know that these are, they're allowed to be, be going through my shit. They go ahead and take their goggles and put them back on and walk up. First, straight to you, Orem, and it, you just see these bright eyes kind of glancing over you. Hi. They don't really respond, they just continue to scan. Right? There's like a, you can sense like sort of a sense of like photo memorization and kind of taking in a person's stance. Like the, you're being read thoroughly by a person in a matter of seconds. All right? Yeah. Oh, you're tall. That tickles. I don't know how, but sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it really does. Gives a pass over Ladna, right? And uh, oh, you're a fancy boy. Hello. You got people for money. Yeah. Not for long. All right. Well, great. Welcome. Uh, find a chair. If you can't find a chair, make one. Steal one. I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna get back to work. Got two things for you before you go. I'm not going, I'm back to, yeah, what? Be on the lookout, we apparently have run into some problems with some guy, it's a dwarf named Duggar, I don't know if that name rings a bell. I don't know a Duggar. Also. <laughs> <laughs> nope. You need to get a hold of somebody from the Corsairs. 
I knew you were going to make that. What do you get mixed in with, Ashton? What? Come on. Some, some shit's been going down. I'm, that's why I'm going to be not here for a few days, maybe longer. I'm going to keep my shit out of your shit. Your fucking quote is keep your head down. Like what the? Well, the head got up and the head got hit, and uh, now we've got some that. fucking. Did you see? Yeah, apparently problems. took quite a hit on it. Uh, hey, look. All I'm saying is, if you're going to get involved with stuff. Don't bring it back here, please. That's why I'm getting out. It's just I, I know you know everybody, so okay. you must know somebody. If you know somebody, figure out a way of letting them know that I'm looking without letting them know that you know that I'm looking, so you don't get in trouble with. There's got to be a there's got to be a middleman somewhere who can do this. <sighs> the only person I could think of would probably be like Advic. And you know Advic. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us everything. Uh, no, uh, that's a whole other thing that we will get into. Who's that? Advic. Vic? That's the problem. We'll get there. Okay, Advic. Uh... No, no, I get it. I get it. I'll be back with money. All right, all right. Well, pleasure to meet you. Don't be trouble. Bye. And they turn back around and get back to work. Okay, that's something. That is something. Let's try. So that's good. That's a wheel in motion. Let's. Uh... Let's try Advic. Let's try. Uh, let's actually. Let's let's go somewhere else first. <laughs> I think that might be the best way to do things. In your head, you hear who's Advic. <laughs> I'll get to it. Avoiding the question. I'll fucking get to it. <laughs> God fucking damn it! That feels really weird. <laughs> Detectives. Ah. <laughs> so. We're yeah. You know what? So. You know we're going to Elder's Post anyway. Fuck it. Okay. Oh. Fuck it. What? Fuck it. What? What are we fucking? What are we fucking? Oh yeah. We're living so many. Advic. Advic. Oh, Advic. 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 What's happening? Never fucked an Advic before. <laughs> You look like you fucked an Advic. That's weird. <laughs> Sorry. Stupid. Is Advic near here? No, they're so in. They're in the Elder's Post. He's in Elder's Post, probably. Oh, Maybe. Oh, okay. 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 Um, it's gonna be weird. Okay, that's cool. Why is it gonna be weird? I'll Please. Milo turn this, that, that turning around just to the shoulder. You can also ask Effid. In Milo's head. Who's Effid? What the? <laughs> Effid is not trustworthy. I can't get into. All right, all right. Okay, Advic it is. Mm-hmm. Advic's going to be a little weird. They're a little. I don't see my like trying to <laughs> clean their ear. Yeah. Like. Effid, fuck you for Effid. Okay. Just tell us now. Why are you being so weird? Well, people have interesting. Uh, I, I have a lot of relationships in this town, and some are better than others, and some are. Okay, and sometimes uh, I don't really remember where they stand, and we find out. Oh. So. That's exciting. So you potentially have beef with Advic. Or is it like a kissing relationship? <gasps> they potentially have beef with me. Did you kiss them? Did you kiss the beef? I got it. <laughs> Are you too upset to do this? Is this going to oh, no. cause you pain? Or I was you? just hoping this was going to be easy. This is okay. This is okay. So, do you need help? Do you need us to do the talking? Are you all right? We'll see how it goes. You know what? I'm excited to bring everybody to Elder's Post. Let's go see somewhere really interesting. See some good shopping. Don't get your shit stolen. Oh. Okay. Right. Okay. I don't have my shit anymore because it was lost. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. I'm messing with you. Sorry, I deserve that. No, you don't. I'm being silly. I did what I thought was the right thing to do, but it was clearly the the wrong thing to do. Listen, of all, of all the cities in the world, generosity is the capital of kindness. (laughs) I'm still not used to the fact that you are shiny and chrome. It's so. I've never met anyone like you. Let alone the fact offend someone like you. You haven't offended me. No. I'm just, I'm just poking you. Are you sure? Uh, yes, it's fine. Can I try to pick you up? I don't see why not. Do it. How, how heavy are you? I'm falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> how heavy are you? I don't know how heavy I am. I never weighed myself. Do you want to try and pick him up? Yeah. Good roll, strength check. I don't like I'm so I don't strong. Know. 
<laughs> yeah. Minus two. <laughs> oh, no. Nine. You you get him a few inches off the ground, but you are fairly dense. I mean, you are you are you are constructed of of some sort of collection of metallic alloys, and uh, you are very heavy. You 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 look like you you weigh twice as much as you look like you should. Oh, like a kettlebell. Mm. Yeah, you're very heavy. You look strangely familiar to me. Uh, oh? I don't know. Just my. My skin or my body or I don't know. I just I like it. Well, feel free to pick me up whenever you wish. Well, I don't think I can, but I or just put your strong. arms around me or whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay. M- maybe. Well, I wonder if I could pick you up. Let's try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a strength check. Yes. Uh, that's a 16. 16? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah full on. <laughs> <I> hydraulic lift. <laughs> Let's go under, pick me up. Oh. oh, and I'll roll around a little with her. <laughs> I'm going to put my dress over <gasps> his head. Okay. Oh, whoa. I can't see. I can't whoa, see. Whoa, whoa. I can't see. <laughs> you end up running into a piece of lower level scaffolding, which then begins to shake, and somebody about 15 feet up is like, whoa, what? And you kind of shake for a oh, second no. before they have to grab on, and it eventually <laughs> stops. <laughs> that could be fun for later. Okay, okay. okay. Suddenly, Fern is essicking around the room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll use that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Where yeah, you I think a, I think a, I think Advic's probably the chiller of those two options. So I think a trip to Elder's Post is okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so you travel at Ashton's behest beyond the core spire, back to the Lantern Spire, but as opposed to heading into the main streets that begin to re- wind their way towards the peak of the spire where the uh, the uh, Prakash Pyre and the Dawnfather Temple that surrounds it currently sits, uh, you head into this kind of side alley that enters a carved archway within the rock itself and in deep into the lightless interior. Lightless beyond the occasional lantern that is giving off a faint, pulsing, magical glow that is affixed to the ceiling about every 10 or so feet to ensure that you at least can see shadows and make your way forward without bumping into things and, and feeling lost. Also, uh, just to clarify, we've just gone from the core spire to the lantern spire for the 17th time. Yes, right? you yeah. guys have okay. just been... Just, just lots of walking. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, Our getting watch. those, yeah, you're, yeah, you are burning some ding, calories ding, ding. and earning Get up it. those those uh, frequent flyer miles. <laughs> um, but this odd network of winding tunnels continues to burrow deeper into the rock, where you can see now dozens of carved abodes that line the edges of this kind of, of much less precarious Fonzie Hollow. A similar visual, but as opposed to being within this, this massive open cylinder space, it is just a winding path that occasionally branches off. But following Ashton's lead, you know where to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, you continue down this pattern line of pathways until you're met with the bustling sounds of raised voices in Marquesian, the music of buskers, and the smells of fresh, wet earth mingling with steam and cooked goods. The tunnel then opens into a communal cavern keyhole space filled with carts, tents, standees, and platforms where all manner of everyday goods and collectibles are hawked. You can see tents of all colors, you can see strings of lights, you can see uh, people playing music and shouting, you, the people, a couple people on the far end that you can hear about, about to get into a fist fight. It is just a, a, a ma- mingled mass of humanity, uh, and it's a different flavor than what you're used to in the streets here in Drusar. Wow, well, I had no idea this was down here. Oh yeah, there, every spire has a, an awful lot of its own flavor. This is. This can be good. Again, watch yourself. These, there's, this gets very sketchy. I'm just gonna keep my hand on my. Very sketchy. Yeah, I'm gonna tuck my coin purse into my belt. You got it. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Same. Secure, secure. Tuck it in. That's good. Okay. All right. If you see anything in stall that you're interested in, let us know. We will stop. But we are heading to Advic's place. 
Every time it sounds like something you get from the shutting down. Yeah, like you're it's on zero percent. No, no, no. Oh, it does sound like that. Yeah, or like that coin you threw down the cavern. No words, no words. So, uh, what are you doing here in the Elder's Post? Well, I'm looking for a magical light source in this uh, <laughs> shopping area as we walk through. Okay. I am uh, trying to stay away from the crowds as much as possible. Okay. I'll stick next to Imogen. You got it. And you you move through, and you know every person is in the process of going about their business. A lot of them carry like bags. Some people are bringing little hand carts down with them, and they're. Uh, gathering what looks like uh, like harvested fungus. Uh, you can see some people that have uh, farmed vegetables that have signs that are like, you know, uh, from the Talon Highlands, and some that are like, you know, brought from the far north of the wilds. People bring, at least claim to bring a lot of goods from far outside of the city and mark up the prices for it. Um, you're looking for Advic. Um, Advic does not have a stationary space here in Elder's Post and is kind of a wandering uh, merchant mm -hmm. of the space. Uh, you do recognize um, what you know, uh, what you see is a, a, a tall male elf, looks be like in uh, 30s or so, uh, dark, handsome figure uh, that has this kind of like heavy, Gray patterned, like thick wool cloak across the shoulders, completely shaved head, um, just these um, kind of just looks like Lance Reddick, to be honest, as an elf. Uh, <laughs> uh, bless him. Um, you know it as uh, Ifrid, also known as the Shadow Oh, okay. Ifrid. That's Wait, different. Not for fuck's sake. It's Ifrid and Ifrid. Right? Yeah. Ifrid. Ifrid. Yeah. Oh, like, oh fuck! Right. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hi. We're running into you down here. This is this is fucking crazy. What are you doing down here? What I always do: sell my wares. What? 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 I have new friends, by the way. <laughs> I've made friends. <laughs> They're great. Do your friends have coin? A couple of them do. Turns back in a stoic look, just like the eyes catch you. This like deep, resonant brown, and you just feel like, oh, this chill hit you. This 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 in, this powerful creature is taking <laughs> an interest. Jingle, 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 jingle. Keep 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 going. Keep going down the line. Down the line. Just 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 make What's your way all the way to the bottom of the line. He pulls open his cloak, and you see on the inside there are all manner of pouches, <gasps> and within each one are just <laughs> colorful. Wonderful smelling baked goods. Oh. Oh. Look upon the work of the Shadow Baker. <laughs> the Shadow, shadow Baker. Baker. Fuck my Ooh, he's got branding. I appreciate I wrote that. Shadow Breaker down, man. <laughs> shadow it's amazing. Baker. Do they do anything magical or? Uh... Try one. Only way to know. <laughs> I, I couldn't possibly. How yeah. much are your baked goods? Depends on what you're looking for. Can you, you sample them for free? Make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. Uh uh, seven. <laughs> no. No. What do you recommend? Gives you a very curious look. Kind of throw my scarf around me. <laughs> For three silver, reaches in and plucks out what looks to be this kind of round cinnamon roll that has this odd kind of purple icing around it with little dashes of bright orange. It looks like like one of those weird Pop-Tart flavors that shouldn't be eaten, mm, but it's still raspberry. intriguing. He's like, do you trust me? No, I don't. But I'll do it anyway. Three silver. Are you marking the price up because I'm me? No. I'm marking the price where it should be because I'm good at what I do. Yeah, that's fair. Mark off three silver. Mm. It smells sweet. You said it's got like purple sprinkles or something? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> he 
you taste this, it's very sweet. Uh, the, the, the scent and, and bit of flavor that you capture has kind of a, a blackberry, but with a bit of like a citrus twist to it, even just a bit. You're like, that took you on a ride for just like a brief touch of the tongue. Maybe this guy earned his name. It's very delicious. Mm. Holy really? shit. Really good. You tried this. She actually took a bite. She took a bite. I did. <laughs> Give me a love, now she'll try anything. <laughs> yeah, oh that my girl. god, is it that really is good? so is good. good. It's better than the carrot cake. I'm not too It's like, way better. It's the really carrot cake is like not even a real baked good compared not to this. Really. You, know? you should no. not be a baker in the shadows. You should just get out there and tell everybody oh. who you are. I want those that need what I have to offer to find me. Oh. Uh, I, I would like to find you. Can I have one too? Which one would I get? Dorian, try this. Okay. <laughs> kind of looks at you, looks back, and pulls out what looks to be this kind of uh, like a bear claw type pastry, uh -huh. but it has a bright pink coloration that matches your hair color. I want it. Ooh. As he's passing that, uh, I'm gonna three try silver to... on that as well. Or you're gonna steal from him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> For you, three silver. All right. Thank you. Thank you. What are you saying? Um, as he's passing it, I'm gonna try to like the bottom corner. I'm just gonna try to grab one. <laughs> Make a slight of hand check. Come on, oh. come on. Do I this is it. Nope. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. What's your passive perception? Uh, my passive perception is eleven. Yeah. No, you do not see. No. No, I don't. Uh, you pocket something. How much is this one? <gasps> <laughs> Can I just have it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you something in return. What will you give me? What do you want? A ribbon, a poisonous flower, flaming monkey shit. <laughs> you are a strange one. A poisonous flower I will take. Might be something to be done with that, perhaps a unique flavor. I give him a hemlock. Hmm. Very well. And with that? You don't have any pies, do you? That seems like a big ask for your coat, but. I am not a maker of pies. <laughs> <laughs> I am a curator of fine pies. pastries. <laughs> yeah. Worse than I do with fresh cut grass. <laughs> What kind of riffraff do you bring to me, Ashton? <laughs> Pies. <laughs> They're new here, and the lowest pastry. <laughs> Guys, I'm pie is scared. better than cake. <laughs> We're trying to do a thing this here. Is She's going to ruin this everything. Is Liam. Okay. The Shadow Baker in Marquisian to you goes, Really? I. I wouldn't bring them if you I wasn't desperate. Souls, in Marquisian, I wouldn't do it if I wasn't desperate. I'd absolutely. All right. I all need right. a baked good. I understand. I understand. And some information. All right. Information. I can help you with that. And a baked good. And a baked good. What information do you have? What are you paying? How can I help? Those of you who don't speak Marquisian are not hearing any of this exchange. I'm, I'm clocking all. I'm yeah. clocking it. Yeah. I. Pretty words. I'm in bad with a dwarf named Duggar. Listen. And I think that <laughs> they have some dealings with the corsairs. <laughs> And I need to get a hold of the Corsairs somehow. I need to get any kind of contact there because I'm pretty sure there's no way they could be in with what this this guy's into. It's just some some, some bad shit. All right. Make a persuasion check. That goes well. I did last time, I suppose. Let's find out. Uh, six. Six. Do you want to pay for this, or do you want me to just give you a baked good and some information? Are you going to tell me what it costs, or am I going to have to make a guess? I like to know what my clients are offering before I can negotiate. Fuck. <laughs> I'll pull out five gold. Snags it and says, Approach the dark feathered ice fur called Heron within the root trader alcove on the other side of the post. Tell them you 
come for the laughter. In your head, you hear in Marquesian, for the laughter? <laughs> well, I you appreciate see, like, like the eye kind of twitch a little bit as it glances back at you. Ooh. Ooh. I appreciate your generosity. I appreciate your friends not prying. Closes the cloak and walks away. You're amazing. Just vanishes into the crowd. What, what was that name again? Ah, uh, Heron. Heron. Well, that definitely could have gone worse. I feel like that was a that was a win-win, all the way across. You got some information. We do. We have a place to go, and it will probably be good. There's easily an eighty percent chance that that is good information and not going to like fuck us somehow. So that's that's pretty cool. I felt pretty good about it. Anybody get a bad read? I don't know. I'm bad at that. I didn't do a particular read on him. So I got I distracted by the baked food. goods. I did. I did as well. Yeah. You seem like a cool fella. Uh, very intense. Yeah, really I got that. In the shadows, he rises. Let's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, where is Boy RD? <laughs> uh, <laughs> to the root oh trader oh alcove? Let's the find our way to the root trader, trader alcove. Did you talk to who? Heron. 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 Hmm. All right. As they walk off, uh, Orem to Dorian is like, I mean, the thing with pie is there's either fruit, mm -hmm. which is fruit. Mm. And if, or there's vegetables and meat, so it's you're getting a baked good, but you're also getting sustenance from it. I think he was sensitive. I think technically pie is a pastry. I'm not. Sh is it? I'm not sure. Is I'm pastry no expert. Pie. Pie. Is pastry a pie or is we pie a pastry? We use pastry to like make a pie. Make a pie. Yeah, not all pies are pastries, but not all pastries are pies. I mean, I'll eat I don't cake. Know. Fuck. I'll eat it. No. <laughs> hmm. Damn. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's a question for the ages. <laughs> I've specifically not thought about it because of that guy too. So like, I really have never given this the slightest bit of thought. I do love a good meat pie. So oh, yes. find any of those. I would consider that a pastry. Yes, for the record. Mm -hmm. It's savory. Savory. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> to the root trader alcove. Root trader. We're there at this point <laughs> now. You guys have meandered <laughs> through the crowd, carefully watching your coin purses. I do. Until you come to uh, what, you've passed it before, though you've had no reason to stop here. It's called the Root Trader. And you can see it's this kind of odd triangular uh, crack in the rock that has been excavated, and then a shop front has been built there with rickety you know, wood that has been gathered and put together and then painted over. You can, it gives it a unique kind of earthy texture because it's kind of ramshod, nailed, and then painted over. Um, but as soon as you approach, you can already smell uh, a cavalcade of different uh, herbs and and fresh leaves and and, and faunas and uh, all manner of just it's 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 like a fantasy Sephora. It's a lot. Um, <laughs> and while the door is not entirely closed, it's slightly ajar. It doesn't look like it's very busy interior at the moment. Um, approaching th as you step through the door, it makes the classic kind of creak sound, which gets the attention of two individuals within. Uh, but before we get there, as you enter inside, you can see along the walls shelves that are just lined with all manner of hanging plants and herbs that have been dried and gathered and like labeled with the prices. Some of it appears to be just cooking spices, and, and kind of the, the front bit is for the standard uh, caretakers. But you can see there are uh, a number of other uh, pieces that are labeled as Hartmore Take. Which, uh, those of you who know, the Hartmoor is one of the lowest points in the wilds here in the jungle, where a lot of the water and runoff creates this kind of boggy center, and it is known to uh, create and give life to a lot of very rare medicinal plants. Oh, cool. But because of that, it's also very carefully guarded and is a dangerous space anyway. So seeing some Hartmoor stuff like that's probably where they make a lot of their money. Um, is it like it's plants that come from that area, or is it like dirt that comes from that area? Uh, it well, the, the the biome there gives life to a lot of these very specific plants uh, that have generally heightened medicinal properties. Some used in alchemy, some used in enchantment. Some are just uh, utilized as a means of of healing over time. Um, but uh, you have not been there. 
You just heard oh, about it. Oh, I just meant like time. on the shelf. It's it's like bottles from that just is, are labeled that, or it's like uh, they're, they're they're just loosely hanging and gathered and just kind of dried oh, and got kept it. there. Okay. Yeah. Um, there is there isn't quite that level of refinement within this establishment. Okay. Um, there is no like front table or, or or bench. You can see there's uh, what looks to be a small stand and a high chair with kind of a a backless chair that's situated as a stand in front of it. It's very kind of a weird open kind of in, inviting business presentation for as rough and, and slapped together a lot of it seems. The smell in here now has gone from like that strong herbal scent to now more of a an earthy minty almost mm -hmm. as you approach. And you can see now there are there are two figures within here. One, the one is kind of you know holding cord in the center of this, you see a female brass dragonborn, um, kind of heavyset, big smile, uh, who is dressed in kind of a, a, a nice blouse and uh, a long, uh, kind of tied over skirt. And then off to the side, you can see a, uh, a male ice fura, which is the, the, the bird folk here, all black feathers across, mm -hmm. and they have what looks to be a kind of fold over uh, leather breastplate that is maybe not as designed for function as much as it is for style. And they have their arms crossed, and they just kind of look, look like they're having like a bored conversation before you enter and both turn and look. And the woman goes, Hello! So good to see you. Welcome. Welcome to the Root Trader. What can I get for you? What are you looking for? What is your interest? Am I doing this, or does somebody else um, want to do this? We're looking for a heron? He yeah. Heron, you have visitors, and turns oh. over, and the bird's like, what? I don't I don't know why. What, what do you want? We're what do you want for from me? We're here for the laughter. What was that? We've come for the laughter. We've come for the laughter. We both look at each other. Huh. Well then, follow me. And you watch as uh, the female dragonborn stands up and goes across the room and kind of closes the door. And Heron kind of goes behind one of the the large racks that you could see is are holding all manner of kind of dried brown and twisted and braided. It looks almost like jungle vines that have been made into these long, uh, almost leathery strips. It takes the rack and shifts it to the side. And behind it, you can see there's a door that is normally kept, you know, yeah. tightly held. Um, they go ahead and unlatch it and step inside. Yeah. All right. I'm doing this shit. Fuck Before it. Before I go in, I'm gonna send a, just a mental message out to the shadow baker. Okay. Um, if he's still within range. What's the range on that? A few miles. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm going to say, I know you weren't a fan of my prying, but we do greatly appreciate your help. And I'll walk on in. Okay. As you all follow suit, if you follow suit, mm -hmm. you okay, it leads into a roughly hewn, tight, kind of a spiral staircase that goes up into the rock. It is a little claustrophobic, and you kind of like arms aside, kind of pulling yourself up as you go. Um, it is a, a unique challenge for you, fresh cut grass. Oh. Um, <laughs> I need um, some, some help. I'm weak as hell. We should, we, um, maybe we could try to each take a, a hand? I just, I can literally just God. drag the handle of the hammer behind me so you have something Great. to like pull. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly, <laughs> the spiral staircase continues like a upward. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yep. like a heavy carry. <laughs> Heron gets to a point where they stop, and you see him kind of put his hand up and reaches and grabs something, turns a latch, and then a hatch opens up above, and he steps up and out into a chamber. Uh, each of you kind of exit thereafter, and you can see now you're in a very low lit room. There's a table with a single low wick lantern that's just kind of like it's that low wickness where it kind of flicks because the the fuel's about to go out. Uh, as you know, Heron sits there, arms waiting for you all to get out, and is kind of like waving you in. 
as you each step out and kind of gather around where the hatches. Uh, Orn, Orn will be here in just a second. I think he went to go take a piss, but <laughs> Fair enough. he'll be coming on up. There he is. Welcome back. <laughs> so you have followed Heron. Cool. Uh, into a hidden passageway. You gotta the back. go where you gotta go. Yeah. yeah. Um, and if now, after up this spiral staircase, Heron opened a hatch, okay. lead, led you all up into this kind of low-lit chamber with a single table and uh, a low-wick lantern. Uh, you don't see the walls anywhere necessarily right now. It's it's very low, low lit and tight in the space. Who has dark vision, if anybody? Just to have something. Oh God, really? None of us have it. This anymore? is the opposite last campaign. I'm so happy. Goggles, lionette has. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason. I have a She's little. Like, I'm not doing that again. Kind of. 100%. You can pull the lantern out. If I'm you want. gonna pull my little lantern yeah, out. I'll, I'll unsheath my scimitar. I got 15 feet, I think. Okay. Yeah, moon touch a little bit of light, and as it fills up, you can now see vaguely. And you saw this when you first kind of stepped in there. This room is about maybe fifty feet by forty or so feet. It's tall. It looks like it would be kind of a storage space. You you can't make out much more detail because there's a lot of like cluttered barrels and small boxes and things off to the side. But there are numerous figures in the room. Oh, oh. no. Lining yeah. the wall. What's it smell like in here? Uh, it smells like sweat. It smells like Ale smells like uh, mildewed wood. Um, but as you, as Heron closes the the hatch behind, as you all kind of take in the space and start getting that that nervousness kind of curdling up inside your stomach, other lanterns <laughs> begin to alight and underlight faces from below, and you just see all these faces grinning in your direction about a dozen or so, and many more beyond them that you can just see the outer outline of them. Probably close to 30 or so individuals lie in the interior of this room in different spaces, and they've kind of just left the center of it open for you. Heron goes, these folks have come for the laughter, and steps aside and kind of joins the edge, and you hear <laughs> different laughs and chuckles beginning to slowly spread throughout the room. You watch as one person strides forward from the group, sending his lantern along the ground and gingerly twirling a scimitar in his hand. You see what looks to be a, uh, a tall man of smooth, sepia-brown skin and striking light brown eyes and a tangled mop of dark, roguish hair, wearing a forest green leather chest plate and braces over a sleeveless Kurdish shirt of a very, very kind of light beige color. Leans forward, Marquisian, towards those who can understand it, scimitar at the ready, pointed towards you. This, friends, is certainly not your luckiest of days. Oh, no. And that's where we're going to go ahead and oh, get it. Oh, no! Oh, no! Damn pie fucker! Fucking pie fucker! He sent us up to Greek! Are we in the Court of Owls right now? I, this I, is I, very I, Court of Owls. No. The, uh, the low persuasion check plus the mind probing. <laughs> that did not go well. Oh, that, no. that could have gone one of, of multiple ways, and that put him in a. Nope. Well, I didn't probe his mind. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just tickled his gooch. That's all. Um, yeah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. Shit. Piss. You're the right height. Yeah. <laughs> Thir- did you say on thirty what they people? Were out loud. Yeah. Thirty. It looks, thirty people. It looks like it. Yeah. Wow. Starting in the room. So how did he? Go 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 go. Why? I Smart. only did that after he already gave us the information. It's me. Shit. Mm. It's that me. in a general rule, I probably should point at people and then other people should talk to them. It's it's a shame because that that, buddy. That, yeah. coin, that coin that I had paralyzes up to thirty people. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. In an exactly 40 foot square foot radius. Oh. For exactly 40 by 50. It's wild. Yeah. No save roll, just happens. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, like they're, they're all like clustered and like over each other's shoulder. It's very much like all of a sudden you see a wall of individuals around you in like a small, like personal arena space. Well, yeah. Man, we they're have... dorks. They're just sitting up here looking spoopy, dorks. waiting for someone to come Ooh, up and be spoopy. They are. Mm-hmm. They are we'll have a whole week <laughs> to plan it over text. Yeah, yeah. I looked that coin up, it also lets you reroll ones, which is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you got rid of it. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we'll pick up there <gasps> next week. <gasps> Thank you all so much for watching. We love you very much. And is it Thursday? Yay! Justice for Bertrand! Bertrand! Never forget! Uh.